Welcome, Relax. Facebook. It, it was a little journey. We're sorry for the technical difficulties. I don't know if it's the beer or the liquor, but Nelson is off his game today. Oh, geez. wow. He's rejecting <laughs> reject the blame. Holy shit. Reject the blame. I got gotcha. you. Okay. What uh, me always tell you? Accountability. Yeah. And she always blames me, too. What the fuck? Yeah. Speaking of Mia, she's not she's not with us today. There we go. Finally. She, she blessed me and said, hey, you can go on the Super Bowl edition <laughs> with my ace. Oh, shit. Which I thought was pretty cool. You want some of this? Nah, I'm going to sip on the Modelo right now. Okay. I'll, I'll do a little both. Welcome, everybody, on Facebook. IG, we've been on IG for a little while, going back and forth with them, talking about uh, the Simpsons and how they predicted the... Uh, the Super Bowl results and their prediction. Are we going to jump right into it? You can talk. Go ahead. And their, Michael Mai, what's going on? And their prediction is the Bengals are up 34 31 this year. Now, that episode was done in the early 90s at some point. I read it somewhere, I saw it. So, what you think? First of all, how you feel about that prediction? I don't know. I got I to gotta look at the spread, bro. Got to look at the spread and see what's going on. and Let's see. I'm going to Google Hello. what the spread and the over and under is, and let, let's see how. See, you're 34, going to the spread. I, 30, you know how I figure out who's going to win? How? The cheerleaders. <laughs> I can tell by the cheerleaders who's going to win. And so who's the better cheerleaders? Now, here's the problem. Who's the better cheerleaders? Here's the problem. It's not about who's the better cheerleaders. Uh-huh. It's about... I don't want to sound sexist. <laughs> it's all right, bro. Who's the hottest? That's not sexist. That's But that's what I'm saying. So who's the hottest? Oh, you have to see them tomorrow. No, I already seen them. Okay, so who's who? I went I went on Google mm-hmm. and I checked out for this year's cheerleaders. Okay. And you would think LA has the hottest women. Right. You got the weather. They're always it's nice. And Cincinnati's cold. It's right. It's a big difference. You would think that. Right. But. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Cincinnati. Now, I lived in Ohio for three years. Okay. I don't know why, but that's another that's another day, another topic. I, that's in the, it's the middle of nowhere. The fuck is there to do in Ohio? I will tell Even you. Even before LeBron James was LeBron James. Before I got married, that was the best three years of my life. Really? Notice, uh, notice I said before. Nah, I don't want to get shot. I don't want to get shot. <laughs> Me is not in the studio today. But, but she's a, she's lurking. She's, she's lurking. She's lurking. I don't I don't I don't need her to do a low crawl around uh, here she's and lurking. punch me in my right jaw. So. Oh shit! All right, here we go. So, thirty four, thirty one. If I can do my math correctly, is sixty five. So that's the over and under, right? Right now, Vegas has forty eight point five over and under. That's a twenty point difference. That's a big difference. And the uh, are they expecting defense? No, they're not expecting nothing. I don't know. Super Bowl predictions, 29-17. I don't know. We'll see about that shit. I don't know. I don't know. I think LA's going to win it, but I want Cincinnati to win it. I don't care who wins. When was the last time Cincinnati won the Super Bowl? I don't even... Have they won the Super Bowl? I, listen, the last time I saw... Last time I remember the Bengals actually being relevant, it was Boomer Esiason... Uh, who was the quarterback? Oh, my holy <laughs> shit. You just told your age. Yeah. Listen, we, we spoke about that. I was like, yo, I'm like, I'm going to come out with shit. Like, you were like, what the fuck? Where did you come up that? 1979. I love talking sports, but he's the one who does all the histories. I I remember some of this stuff, but I, I can't help you, bro. Yeah, so Omar Sison. I remember him, but I, I don't remember seeing him. Holy then, moly. So we got the Super Bowl set up today. Yes. You know. Good job. Now, I, yeah. I love the whole setup. It's yeah, amazing. so I wanted to be real comfortable. Somebody gave you the eye because you took all her stuff off the table. No, 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 no. See, let me correct she that. She gave you the eye. I did not. I, she chose to. I, I co- said, Nelson did it. <laughs> she chose to do it, and I said no, and I put it back. Oh, she put it away again. See, I, I need to smack her. I just I just need to smack her. But it, it's we love okay. you, Mia. It's okay. Wherever she's at. She can hear you, probably. Did you? Did I what? Read the, the, the paper? Oh, I have not read the paper. So, I, I guess, well, I, was, well, I had strict instructions. Well, I was told you were supposed to do it before No, the show. but that wasn't going to, no, that wasn't before you came on. 
Okay. Yeah, but you you had to be on anyway. Then she gave me different instructions. Ten minutes. It's amazing how she's a hot mess here, right? But doesn't do any logistics. And then when she's not here on that chair, she wants to mandal everybody like, yo, do this, <laughs> do that. What kind of bullshit is that? I can't. That's why we love her. All right. So let me see if I need my glasses. So this is from my counter, my cohort, my counterpart, my ace. Um, what is she saying? She wrote in her lawyer handwriting. Good luck. No, I can. I can. Oh, okay. Oh. You know, you know, she's half lawyer, half doctor, so it's probably like half MD handwriting. Got you. All right, here we go. We do with that. That's that's what I think about that note. You know, so, so that, <laughs> oh that's what I think about I, that note I don't right even now. Know. <laughs> I, when she comes up here, uh, I did it. Oh man, I did it. I did it. I did it. So anyway, everybody, what y'all doing for Super Bowl? I know it's Sunday. That's why we're on Saturday because it's the most watched show. Every single year for as long as I can remember. What is it, what? What are you guys looking forward to? Hit us up on the comments and everything. But halftime you, show. Halftime show. Halftime show looks dope this year. Who we got? We got the the what is it the aftermath group? The they're team. not all aftermath. No, I know, but I mean they're all they're all kind of just branches of of all of that because you got M, you got Dre, you got Kendrick Lamar. Uh, who else? Snoop Dogg, Snoop Mary J. Dogg. Blige. I mean, they're all interconnected somehow, some way. That's the that's the lovely '80s right there, early '90s. And then that. we got the new. Hi, Nubia. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar. Oh, la Nubia. I think in that sh- in that sh- halftime show, what are you looking forward to? Good music. Ain't nobody shaking their ass. Because I don't want to see Eminem or Thank you, uh, Lord or, Jesus. or Dr. Dre shake their ass. I don't want to see Megan Stallion on there. I don't want to see none of that. Great, it's great music. But I, I I'm I'm tired of seeing the twerking. I like to see Ma- well no after seeing Power I <laughs> Mary J Blige I don't even want to look at her sideways, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all have not seen Mary J Blige in Power, you have to see great. her. She's doing great. Yo, she, she's doing great. She looks like she'll cut some bo- well she'll cut some balls off, serious balls off, bro. Well, I, I just I can't wear her. I can't. I don't want to do. I don't want to do the spoiler alert thing, bro. No, no spoiler alert. That finished, right? Last week was the... Not that. That wasn't the last episode. Still for a lot the of things going on. Yeah. Uh, no, for the season. Holy moly. I don't know. I don't know. I well, don't know. speaking of the of the halftime show, we have um Snoop Dogg, who, who's going to be on it as well, who's also a great performer. We had the best eight. We, our time was, was like the best music, bro. Uh, okay, let's, let me correct you. Uh, I, well, my time, <laughs> my time. Let me correct His you. time started it. <laughs> my time just enjoyed it and improved it. At, at 80s decade by far. I don't care. Oh, 80s man. decade by far is I'm the best the decade 90s. ever. 90s, you got some of us. That's what it was. But 80s by far. 80s, you got you got the 70s soul. I don't Hip hop started. You. you got break dancing. You had freestyle. You know, you know what that's like? That's like getting a brand new car, right? Mm-hmm. But it don't really look that good till you get it polished. He polished it. Yeah, yeah, he polished it. You, you know what happens? We had a nice. You know what I'm saying? You put, we put some rims on it. Wow. You put some rims on it. And they then put it, the rims on it, but we put the spinners on it. So. You know what I'm we, saying? We tinted the windows. Cheers, Nubia. Everybody on in Instagram. Young Viral. Where you at, son? Yeah. You should, yo, Viral, you should come over. Yeah, bring your butt. So. Yeah, like eighties is just like dope. So yeah, I'm I'm very interested. Actually, I'm very excited about the game itself. Yeah, the game itself. The game itself, it looks good. The last couple of I'm t- I'm glad I ain't seeing Tom Brady in the fucking Super Bowl. Oh Jesus! Finally, that man has Holy finally said shit. he's gonna retire. Did he uh, actually? Because it took him about. They said he was retiring. He never f- officially announced it. And then what? Ten days later, he said, "Yeah, okay, I'm retiring." He well, I I don't I knew he was gonna do it, but here's my question: Even mm-hmm. though he's not in the Super Bowl this year, do yeah. you still consider that he went out in a bang? Oh With no, bang? yeah, I, I think I mean the best way. Who who's done it? Um, Peyton did it. Mm-hmm. Peyton did it. His last game, Super Bowl, boom. Um, Breeze could have done it, but he didn't. He returned. Brady could have done it as well, and he didn't. He returned. You know, I mean, when you when you're at that level, like 
You love that game. Yeah, that's a fact. You that's, love You can that tell game. he loved the game. You know, He's you love genius. the money, but you love the game. Like, they love it. So, like, but he went on his own terms. Like, unfortunately, injuries hey, and, you know, all that stuff. Sasha, yeah. how you feeling, mama? Hope you're feeling better. Yeah, definitely hope you're feeling better. Um, So, here's the second part of that question. What do you think happens now with Gronk? Gronk is gone. Gronk is like attached to the hip to Brady. That's like his bitch. Because he retired. And, and then he, he came back just for Brady. He got that call. He got that call. He just got it. He's like, yo, Gronky, yo, get off that fucking New Year's Eve shit. Brady, and- Brady, Brady is, the, is the gangster of the NFL. I don't care what nobody. Oh, no. He, he got is- his shooters, and he called the shooter up and was like, you, you, can't, you, you can't put the gun down. You got to come back. He, yo, he brought Antonio Brown to that team. And took, the, brought, and took the Super Bowl and, like that. Yeah, so it was like, he, he, like when he's the type of, he's like EF Hunt, and I'm showing my age. When he talks, people listen type shit, and that's exactly what it is. Oh, man. Cool so, dude. So I want to talk about something. Just to recap, a couple of weeks ago on the podcast, we did the Men Ain't Shit, right? Mm. All right, and you joined us. and um, Did I say something wrong? No, you didn't say nothing wrong. I feel like I'm about to go on punishment. (laughs) What the hell? So, I went back and I looked at the the videos. And I've been starting to do that. At the beginning, we started this podcast. I wasn't, I just didn't want After Especially after the second one, I was like, ooh, I don't want to relive that type of shit. You You don't like how you look on camera? I don't know. I don't like how I look in the mirror. (laughs) (laughs) When I go out there, I scare myself when I wake up in the morning and look in the mirror. Shit. So, the topic... Um, I actually got some feedback from some people, and it wasn't negative, but it also wasn't positive, and it was for some females. Uh, so, I so I love it, y'all, but imagine that when it comes to opinions, yeah. Lord. So, um, I, I I try to do a video. Valuable opinions, though. I I love y'all. Y'all y'all do have some valuable valuable opinions. Oh, we all we all do, but it's it's the perspective of how some women see things. So. Fucking reels and and stories on TikTok. They all fucking limited, two or three minutes. And then when I looked at my video, it was like ten minutes. When I did, I woke up in the morning. I was inspired. I had it in my mind. I woke up. I went to I went to my lanai. I had the sun. It was like seven thirty in the morning. I did it. I'm like, oh. Then I'm trying to load this shit up. I was like, motherfucker. I couldn't do it. like I. So I was doing it in an increment of 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 one minute. Um, segments. We gotta do an episode of Nelson versus social media. For real, bro, because that <laughs> shit got me tight. No, yes, you you are right. You are right. Not all men are bad. Absolutely, absolutely. Not all women are bad. Not all men are bad. It was just just the simple fact that I was. My point, basically, in the synopsis in the nine minutes, is basically what I was wanted to say was, not all men are bad, and men Fact. like to get taken out. They like flowers. They like gifts. They like getting I do. compliments, getting thrown at them. The same things that same things that women crave and want from their man, attention, all that. Men want it at the same time. We get yes. stuck in this that men chase women and women have to be chased. And while a lot of women say, no, I don't get to get chased, y'all love it. Y'all love all that attention. And when y'all get into a relationship, it seems that it's supposed to just stay that way. No. At, at that point, y- y'all together, like, be reciprocal in everything. If he takes you out to dinner one week, you take him out to dinner next week. He gets you a gift, you get him a gift. Like, it, it should be that way, and it shouldn't be one-sided. And I'm sorry to say, a lot of times it's just one-sided. You yeah, know, and, and that's what I was trying to convey. Like, there's good men out there, and those good men... Like the same things that all these good women like as well. And I'm trying to change that perspective. Listen, some women, Sasha, some women don't appreciate it as well. So it just, it's just the whole thing. It just depends on the person. But for most, for the most part, a lot of women talk, oh, my, this man ain't shit. And, all, and that's, and what are you doing for your man? That's- like, that's that's always the thing. You, but you know what it is? And we have to look at something, too. And I think we missed this part. Is that your error. Wow. Your error. <laughs> you wow. can't say wow. You just said. <laughs> wow. He, you, just, I, What's you, up, just Tracy? Aged, you just aged me like six to like Your 65. error. <laughs> because your error comes before me. There was a point to that. Mm-hmm. Your error, right? Absolutely. Mia, 
Mia gave hello. This is the Super Bowl. You think Mia want to talk about Super Bowl edition? Look at all. Look, you man. don't like my face on the camera, Tracy? Yeah, look at all this food. We're, trying, we're we're helping her. We're not enabling her. You know, she's on. A, she's in a process right now. You know what I'm saying? We love Mia. Look, we love Mia. Look, she's meditating I, I somewhere. I still got Mia holding me down. Look, always she got my back. And the Giants, the Giants, the Giants, the always Giants, 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 Giants. Giants. So, Giants. so your era, I think, was raised uh, traditionally because you guys, um, that gener, our parents, like my generation, is very old school, and right? Yes, very old school. So, with that being said, I think we got a little bit of it. My generation got a little bit of it, but we started Just like doing the music. Yeah, you we, got most of the music, and then you got a little bit of it. Yes. And we started doing stupid stuff with it. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with women. You know, we, we thought we, we knew everything, and then we ended up doing partial part part of it, and then we fucked it up. Well, the 90s became the term. women empowerment movement. The 90s, and, yeah, yes. The 90s. So, I, so, so it, it became more of a selfish manner in the sense that women, and, and it's great, women felt empowered, but it also, be, it also led to some selfishness because... Women were fighting themselves, and I can do this, I can do that, but then forgot about... I think the 70s and 80s were full of women with pride. They, that's when they started coming out of the tradition and saying, you know what, I'm not going to sit in the kitchen where this man thinks I'm going to only be because he's thinking about leaving. I got to think about my career, and I'm going to teach my child, mm -hmm. which is you, how to be independent. Absolutely. So Absolutely. now here we go into my era because that men ain't shit really stem from my era. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it. It really stems from my era. And that came from dudes thinking they were dope. They didn't. They, they meet a chick. They started building standards. Ah, said, Judy. We could do this and we could do she that. She said, hey, boys. I like hey. that. Hey, boys. <laughs> Hi, Judy. So. See, so. Lorena, uh, Just Peaches on Instagram said it. My parents are still together and been together 30 that's, years. And you that's know. The, but they but had they an understanding. Yeah. They, had, they knew the tradition. They knew. Yeah. I think, Dude, I that's think, ride or die. That day right. age was ride but or die. We can say that all we want, but there was an understanding. Absolutely. There, and right now, what when you get into a relationship, you're going into a relationship and you're saying, okay, am I going to be the supporter or I'm going to be the leader? In my relationship, we both lead, but there's a communication. Well, yeah. It doesn't matter of the amount of money being made. It doesn't matter. Listen, if you're going to support each other, you're going to free I think social it. media also. Remember, I they grew up in an era. Up, I, was I grew, up, I was in, I I grew up in an era that there was no social media. Mm -hmm. Absolutely none. Alpha, some black ice cream. Yo, T, can you bring some? Thank yeah. you. Appreciate uh, it. Thanks. Um, yeah. We grew up. With no cameras on us. Thank the Lord. <laughs> because I wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, but that makes two of us. <laughs> then, then, then the 90s came and the internet showed up. And then God obviously... Them, 57 years. 57 God years. God bless them. God bless them. So... Mia's got friendships that long. <laughs> yeah. What's inside the blue... Oh, see, you got to stay tuned because there's a lot of things going on on this table right here. So we... Well, you know, slowly but surely, we'll start divulging stuff. Woo! So, yeah, so we didn't there. So, it was, we were more focused on the relationship. Now, we get outside influences and... It's true. The manipulation and the peer pressure and all these other things make us think and doubt, oh, wow, I never thought about that. Instead of focusing, and I, and this is my biggest point with my rant, and I said what I said. Some of you women just don't get it. Like, there's the 80-20... Why my, why my cup got to be an adolescent cup? Because <laughs> it's got a little straw. I, listen, listen, we got sippy cups, bro. That's, that's the shit. I got to sip. I might be here for a while. Yeah, you got to sip. Sorry, you got to take I'm it. Yeah. So, um, I it's the 80-20 rule. Most relationships, I believe, at least in the start, there's an 80-20 you guys love each other eighty percent of the time, and that twenty percent is that gray area where you have yep. the, the the bumps and bruises that are there. And a lot of you women, a lot of you women, I'm saying, I said what I said. A lot not of you all, women, a not lot all, of you. a lot of you. It's mm -hmm. not, and then and it's very, and that's sad to say. A lot of you, twenty of you, just twenty percent of you. No, not even twenty percent. A lot of you focus on that twenty percent. Oh, there you go. All the damn time, like 
He does this, 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 and this, and he doesn't do this, and that's all you focus on. But the 10 things that he did uh, that actually check off your, your boxes, you don't praise, you don't do anything, but you focus on the 20. You know what? Me and I had a conversation of this, and not if you haven't seen the show Billions, I'm not going to do the spoiler alert. Mm. But they had a there, there was an issue where he he I felt like he didn't lie to her, but his wife felt like he lied to her. Right. And Mia, what do you think she did? Whose side was she on? He took on the woman's side. Because he didn't lie, but he omitted the information. And that's, it's a, and I agree with her, it's a lie, I get it. But to the level where she took it, and this is where, this is, it correlates with, with how women now, um, like what you said, they'll take, they'll take the 80, they'll take the 80% percent all day, but the 20%, They'll freaking make it bigger than the eighty percent. Yeah, that all their energy is going. You know how much that. you know how much it's tough. How much it's tough. energy, how much takes to just focus on that negativity? Like instead, if you would focus just on the eighty and communicate on the twenty, that eighty grows. And, so and that lot, doesn't happen. And a lot of the women that we have on are 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 older than today's women. When I say that, I mean like he just called a whole bunch of you viejas. I'm talking about the truth. <laughs> Listen, some of y'all got friendships with him and my ah. wife longer than I've been alive. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it out there. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, Lord. But here's the thing is that I think I think a lot of, a lot that 20%, that like just that one issue, that one issue, yes, is bad. You, 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 you know how many times that one issue and that 20% destroys relationships? Yeah, but it, it just, and it sucks. And it, no, but it's possible. I, I agree with them sometimes. The TV went off. I agree with them sometimes. But if it's not such a big thing, don't think about how it looks from the outside because people, not everybody's looking through your window. But not everybody gives a fuck about another, you. That's another thing. People are worried about what other how people it looks. think. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, that, nobody cares about, well, I don't care about what they, it's about you and your significant other. Absolutely. So, um, so that was just my point. I just the 80 20. Uh, focus on the 80. Forget 80, about the 20. Yeah, communicate yeah. on the 20. Focus on your focus all your energy on that 80 and grow. And that's it. I said what I said. A lot of you are stuck on, on the 20. 20. That's all it is. Communicate on your 20, but work on the 20. Yeah, well, if you communicate, you work on it. You gotta work on the 20. Energy on the 80, bro. Energy on the way. And, and that's it. If you don't, don't like me, I don't care. Understand it. You have to understand the communication, and then you work on it. So, great time, segue, Valentine's Day is Monday. You let me get you a blue, sicky, a blue sippy cup. Oh, Lord. What you put in there? You got ice? I didn't even know we had ice. Papa. Yo, this guy throw the everything. I got everything. You see that? Everything. Here, I don't want to put my hands, but there you go. Where your hands been? <laughs> my hands are... Yo, I just took a shower. See, Watch my, this guy. Watch my, this my guy. Head, my hair is... My, I'm looking like an NFL player right now because I got the hair. I got the beer pong. I got the jewels. Yo, he, I, he look like he about to do a head and shoulders commercial. Yo, I haven't worn these chains in... <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think in a decade. I haven't, at least a decade. Like, I haven't. I was like, you know, with Super Bowl, I'm going to flash them. That's all it is, and it is what it is, bro. That's all it is. Listen. So, Valentine's Day. Uh, I don't have one, but you do. Uh, what do you think about Valentine's Day? Let me tell you something. What do you guys think about Valentine's Day? That, Comment uh, out. Let me see. What? What? You know what? I can use your help. What should I get Mia for Valentine's Day? She's not watching. She's not listening unless she's somewhere around there. But help me out. Yeah, just just put in the comment section unless she's sneaking and is logged in somewhere else. But Tracy, she better not be logged in with you for real. Suggestions of Valentine's Day for me gifts for me to give to Mia. Not me because I I don't. I don't have uh, while we at it, mm -hmm. let's talk about getting Nelson a Valentine. No, I don't want a Valentine. Let's do that. I'm not a big. Well, I can't say I'm not a big... I think... Well, when I've been in a relationship, a real, like a good one, Valentine's Day can't be every day, but I understand the concept. I get, we get you. We I get, get you. you. I got you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but when I've been in my last relationship, flowers and things, of all the time. It didn't have to. Valentine's Day, I went, I went, I went extra. Well, well, me and I, we don't do, to be honest with you, we don't, we, re we rarely do Christmas. We rarely do anniversary, no, well, and Christmas, we rarely do Christmas Valentine's. Christmas, y'all do. Christmas, the crazy thing is that your wife doesn't like flowers. Uh, I don't understand that. She is one that. of the few women. I don't understand that. Ooh, Can you help me out with Sasha, that? Sasha, couples massages, are you are you offering, or that's a suggestion? Just uh, say, oh, 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 o
Ay, oh my god, people on Instagram is like overrated. Why is it overrated? Explain to me. Because is it, is, it, is, it, is it a white holiday? Wow, that's a racist comment, but it's okay. I said what can't I can't be a white holiday. What is, I mean, yes, it can. <laughs> okay, yes, it can what? Sasha, elaborate, please. <laughs> yes, it can be able to take, your, oh, you know, take the freaking hits, see, bro. See, that's why you're wait, single. That's, no, I'm not single because of that. <laughs> I don't read minds. I don't read minds. I don't have the Jedi power. And it's, that's oh, my it. God. Somebody just, help this just, man. Just Peaches doesn't like flowers either. Why don't you like peaches? What's oh, I mean, why do you oh, like peaches? Oh, call me later. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but it's listen again. We always think about gifts, and it's not about the actual gift; it's the thought behind it. But just peaches on Instagram. Why don't you like flowers? You what? You don't like the way they smell because they die quickly? Like oh, I don't know. Like what's what, going on? What are the expectations of, of of Valentine's Day? I thought Valentine's was just flowers and chocolate, and then you might go out on dinner and things like that. But I, I think today's women are expecting more. It's a money grab to me. It's a complete I mean, money grab. I mean, it's um, obvious the e-commerce the, at again, some point came see, up with You see holidays. what you just said? Women are expecting. that. How does Valentine's Day end up being a woman's holiday? I, I wasn't taking it there, y'all. I did. I said I'm what I said. I'm not trying said. to be an enemy of women. <laughs> I'm not trying to be, but it, why is it? And then, it's it's again, true, though. But I think, I think somewhere in the past, maybe somebody can research it and Google it and make a comment. I know Sasha will. Where did, where did Valentine's come from? Like, did the e-commerce come up with this and said, we need to, you know, the first quarter is always our lowest quarter, so we need to pick up the money. Here's how Right after Christmas, it. everybody's broke in January. And I they think hit that's it really in, what happened. They hit it in February. Okay, let's start let's start spending that money. <laughs> See you later, said so get the discounts on February 15th. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> hey, 50% clearance, Walgreens, all of that. That's what you're like, Yeah, See, I ain't mad. If I was a man, right? I'll do that. I, I, I just said if I was a man. Wow. So if I was a man in a wow. relationship, this is what I would do. I would do this. I was like, yo, I would work 24 hours on Valentine's Day, and then I'd hit up the 50% off on the day after. Sasha, That'd be great. I don't, you don't care about you. Listen, no, no disrespect. We want to know about how you're going to spoil now. <laughs> That's what I want to know. But I'm glad. See, see, Sasha has a great heart. She does. She does. She, she does. does. I like. I like this. She's like, I spoiled. I spoiled my husband, and that's great. That's fantastic. Got it. I yeah. got it. So Daisy, that, how you feeling? Tell, I'm good. She's trying to tell you how she gets down. I know. I, that's a, but you can't just get down with everybody. Like I've been in relationships, and I. That's I, a fact. And Valentine's, and I was like, hey, here's some flowers and all that. But then again, I got shit. You know, but I don't. I don't mind not getting any. No, that's I, just me. I, I do because if again that that that's the whole thing. Like, why is it always have to? Any of these holidays got to be like everything about. But the you woman. know what? I'm a little selfish with that because I I just don't like surprises. Period. I I really don't like surprises. So me not getting a gift is actually a gift. Judy said, "No flowers. Give me a love letter. Make me dinner. How about the flowers with a love letter, and a little chocolate on your pillow when you go to bed." She said X. Sasha said X. I, I, I know, I know, but I, I'm just saying. Like I didn't want, I didn't, I don't. Listen, I don't dis, I don't disrespect my exes because I chose them for a reason. Yo, Instagram just be just is like give me chocolate and so I, and strawberries. So I, 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 I'm seeing the theme here. Y'all want food? Yeah. <laughs> that's but, not even food. That's candy. That's candy, but it's like it makes me happy, indulge when I'm depressed. You do a lot of things with candy. Oh, chocolate, I'm, absolutely. Get some Hershey's, get some all that, all that good shit. I'm just shit. saying, I'm not trying to give too much information out. If you in our age group and you don't know anything about this, I can't help you. All right, so you got, you got, okay, so flowers is out the question. Love she likes that. chocolate. She loves chocolate. She loves chocolate. She, hey, hey, yo, see, but then, you did a good thing because I bought that, he yeah. bought these the other day, right? So he bought these the other day and everybody was watching. <laughs> but these are delicious. This I is this is classic mixed maple chocolate, peanut butter, and peanuts. This is crap. See, but that was a trap. See, I, I did that, right? I did that. I bought that and then listened to the conversation. As soon as I sat down in the living room, uh huh. Oh, these peanut butter M&M's are so good. Now that I know she likes peanut butter M&M's. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a trap. You got to yeah. do that. Like, I, it's just it's just one of those things. But I, here's the thing. Okay, we know she don't like certain kind of chocolates. We know she don't like flour. Isn't that weird? If you like chocolate, you like chocolate. She doesn't like certain kind of chocolate. She likes the Lindor. You saw that. She didn't even want to give you none. Oh, the Rogers. Oh, the, Ro the Rogers. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's Rogers. I don't know what the hell they called. 
Rogier. We baby. know what kind of wine she likes. Every wine. Not every wine. Almost every wine, bro. She likes that Pinot and the uh, no, other one mix. She likes Pinot. She also it depends. She also drinks dark. She just, she'll drink them all back. And That's all that. a moody thing. I gotta catch the moody thing. But she she's definitely a white. Prefer over yeah, over, yeah, yeah, over yeah. red, yeah, but yeah. she'll drink red. She loves rosé. I've, she I've, I've seen sweet. her down some bottles like, of red. Yeah, it's a mm-hmm. <laughs> You don't want to know what happens when that goes down. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't want to know either. So absolutely not. But yeah, um, I don't know. I is it a bad thing also to keep doing the same thing every year? But it's the same thing every. That's what they advertise every year. Everything is hearts, chocolates, flowers, blooms. Every single year. Um, and I think Judy said something, yes, a love letter. See, something that comes actually not, that you go to, the, that you not have to go to the take store and buy. Time right, say, to, say that it comes from the heart. I used to write, and I've, I've written letters to um, someone that was very special to me. And not even on Valentine's, just in general. Like, I was felt the need. I wanted to write something and express my feelings. I think that's more appreciated than going to Walgreens and getting chocolate or something of that I, I understand that. But I only mean, write one thing. massages actually is a very I good idea. I, we did that before. Okay. We did that before. So, then just you go get a massage on Valentine's Day. <laughs> she, took me, listen, she took me to get a massage one time. Uh-huh. And that I was coming out of that place walking on clouds. Did you get a happy ending with that or no? I definitely was happy, happy at the ending, but it, was, it didn't happen over there. I might as well start drinking with you. Because Look at that. The stuttering is coming. By the, by the way, if speaking about chocolate and peanut butter, oh, you know, I and I just got a freaking idea. Adding some Hershey syrup, a splash in here. Nah. Pero caga, yeah, you're gonna, but this screwball whiskey this right here. This going to be an early show. You do that. Um, It's peanut butter flavor. So for all you people out there that like peanut butter and like liquor, it's amazing. Okay, so it looks like the consensus. I'm sorry. It looks like the consensus is they love those heartfelt letters and and those that then and not the prefab cards. Oh, so I, I, get I get it. But I don't. I get I don't, to go go to the dollar store. Get yourself a box of crayons and some cardboard wow, crayons. <laughs> You're trying, trying to make fun of my age group. <laughs> and, and do something wow. a project, and then you're good. That, that's it. But you know. The one thing is, is Mia knows that I don't, I don't write. I write music. No, 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 no. See this. Okay, so perfect other segue now. No, we're music. not gonna there do go. this. So oh. this man is very amazing because I sit with him in the booth. No, stop it. Okay, and he doesn't give himself enough credit because he sits down and pulls out some lyrics and some. And some stuff like, where the fuck did you come up with this? So when you say you can't write, no. It's not that you can't write. You've never focused your energy on writing that type, meaning with your feelings. That's so, been happening a lot this week. So you just need to just transition in a way where you need to focus and find your inner inner love lover boy and write because you can write. It's just the content. Judy, don't bring that up because I wrote her a song Yes, time. Yeah, but that, it wasn't nice. Yeah, it <laughs> you sure was not nice at all. He did it. He he kind of wrote her this song at, at a point where their their relationship was really rocky and they were separated. And you see how you, how inspired you got about that. So just as inspired that you got with that that situation and those emotions is where you then have to take your emotions and how much you love her. Now you have to focus on that eighty percent. See, men also have to work on. They also have to focus on that eighty, 80%. and that's and, and that twenty. Yeah. So you take that 80, you focus your energy on that. I'm pretty sure you're going to come up with something very nice, very sweet, very loving. And I'm 100% sure she's going to appreciate that. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not a surprise to anybody, but I am working on an album. So um, I was thinking about doing something like that for the album. But Valentine's Day is too close. I can't. No, I'll you, write her. I'll you, write her something from yeah, the heart. So or, you know, I don't know. This is go to a couple's massage and then just get up in in your birthday suit and sing her a song. What about the lady that's massaging me? She can sing with you. She, she, she does that's the my, chorus. That's my backup singer. She does. She oh, does the chorus. God. That's all it is. Yeah. That's all, that's I can't all the deal chorus. with him. I can't deal with him. Yo, that's a that's a great. I, I tell you this much. That's different. It is. It is absolutely different. Is. I've always liked to do things out the box. I've always liked to do things that are completely different. I don't. I'm not normal. I'm definitely out the box. I don't. I don't. I don't follow the the masses. 
And I like I always like trying new things. While you giving out notes, Sasha's giving you notes too. She don't like chocolates. Often, so I don't care about chocolate. Okay, got it. Yeah, got you. Noted. He Noted. got you. He got you. Noted. Wow. So I do you know, But yeah, so speaking about your music, um, if y'all don't know, this is super mega producer, by the way. Yes. So that's right. if y- if y'all not familiar, that's super I mega am, producer. I am super mega producer. I wear many hats. You think I work at Lids? Um, <laughs> wow, see, yo, he just wrote a look. He just wrote a lyric right so, there, son. I also own a music company called Big Face Music World. Um, I am the CEO and the founder, and, and I do have three artists, including myself, um, which makes four, um, and also have some, some merchandise, some clothing, and things like that, if you guys ever want to But you just don't that. also don't only focus on music, like you do... No, I do everything. You I do, do logos, videos, you do, do the logos, videos, do, yeah. you do the music, I direct like the videos, yeah. our intro was done by him yes. so like if you guys need to shoot a video or if you got a plug or you're doing some type of logo some type of intro yeah you know so like someone's doing a short clip or a movie he can provide the soundtrack for it or he can create a soundtrack so he does all of that and i have people in the company if i'm too busy to do it i can always delegate and get them to do it and things like that so we'll always take care of you just peaches on instagram what's the last letter when was the last letter you got I'm just, I'm putting it out there. What's the last letter you got? See, women like shopping, but it's not about you. It's about us. (laughs) It's about us. It's It's about us. Is is, is Valentine's Day about the man, though, or is it about But that's what I said. It's, it's, there is no, it's, what is it? I can't even, it's non-binary, LGBTQ, he, she, him, it, it has no gender. Okay, but the point See? is, the it's uh, pink. I see where you're going. With it's it. now it's no gender. I see where you're going with that. I can't even argue that. Yeah, it's there's, see. there's no gender whatsoever, so it's. Oh, so so here, here's the here's the better way to put it. So is it about the non uh, dom, dominant or the the dominant person in the relationship? Is you know, the, the, the dominant the or, the, or the sub. There's no sub. There's no. You're either a dom or a sub. Who gave you this term? The BDSM. The BDSM oh field. my <laughs> God! Get off <laughs> the go phone. Down. Jesus Christmas! Oh, uh, so it's yeah. I don't. I don't know what. Who's it? Who's oh, it you got. Oh, Just Peaches got a. She got a love letter two months ago. That's awesome. That's awesome. What's the last time you wrote him a letter? Ooh, let's, oh, let's go let's with that. Talk about that. Let's go with that. What's the last time? You ladies out there, I don't want to say you women, because that kind of sounds crass. You ladies out there, you beautiful ladies, when have y'all wrote a letter? Because, again, I said, the same thing you you women like, men like as well. I like I like getting, I read letters and all this. I have too much to say, I'm going to stop typing. <laughs> See, look, Judy's not submissive and dominant. That's, it's, that's the two roles. So, you have a dominant, you, it seems you always have a dominant. Oh, when you said sub... I was thinking like, like sports. Subway? Oh, Subway? So, like, oh, yeah. Like, well, oh, okay, like the you. person is the backup. Oh, no, okay. you're coming, off, coming right. off the bench. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, Judy, for clearing that oh, up. Okay. Hello. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, okay, yeah. I got you. So is it for the diamond? Remember, it's a tag team. This is wrestling. You tag in, and then you just go in and all go right, rock see, out. That's, thank God y'all here because I can't do it all the time with this guy. He's been trying to give me blood signs. <laughs> I can't. I don't, I yo, don't, like, I don't yo, know that. So yeah, there's so, a so dominant, submissive and dominant. Okay. Right. I mean, and 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 that's in a different realm. But in any relationship, there is one more. There, like they say, there's an alpha, and mm-hmm. you know, so it's just one is more dominant the in the other in certain aspects of the relationship. So who is Valentine's for? The dominant or the submissive? For both. There is no sub or dominant in Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. The purpose of Valentine's Day is to express your love to the person that, that you, you love. love. Yeah. So that's that's exactly what Valentine's Day is in a nutshell, right? So if that's the case, men and women should equally express their love for each other extra on that day. Let me extra? say extra on that day. That that's all it is. Valentine's Day is just an extra, extra, extra day that you express. And we get I listen, I I got caught up. I've been caught up in the whole thing about going extra balloons. I had freaking rose petals and walked in the house and dinner was cooked I and wine that, and that, right? candles all over the house. I all like that, that shit. I like that. You better get at him. 
I don't do that for everybody. Oh, oh, oh fuck okay. no. Okay, I was advertising very, he does they, it for everybody. There have been very few, and I, I can count on my on my hand, and I'll still have fingers left over that I've done that for. You got to be really, really special. I'm still young. I, I haven't done that to too many. You got to do it. I've only been I, in two relationships I, in my life. Yeah, that's crazy. When people so, look at me, they be like, uh, you got a lot of bitches. So, what are you talking about? I, you, that's something I've you, only had two women in my life that I've been in relationships with. Oh, okay, so just because I haven't written him in a while, but I buy him stuff just because. Aw, write him a damn letter. Right. <laughs> you just said you love letters. <laughs> write him a damn letter. Him a damn letter. I said but what you know I said. What? But do all men really want it? Letters? Doesn't yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It does. Know. It does matter. Come on. Now, okay. Mia might write me a letter and I and I read it, but the per the sometimes when you think about a gift, you think about like how that person um what the person will do with that gift after. Not just But we gotta get out of that freaking mindset that it has to be a purchase. No, but it's just it's just thinking it's, it's just, an addition. Yeah, but you, you you want it to be special. You want it to be something that not they won't just keep for that day. You want them to have it all the time. They, you want them to cherish it all the time. Dude, that always last four or five days or two weeks. Maybe. But no, if you put them upside down and all that, there's Who the fuck going to do all that shit? Some women do, dude. Man. Some do. I'm Listen, I'm in my house from work and the flowers are upside down from the ceiling. No, you just, uh, <laughs> you just don't leave them out. You put them away. Listen, oh. I still have, I have letters that I that have been written to me and I still save them. Like, even from exes that, you know, just, just because it, it at that moment it was really heartfelt. That's a little bit weird though. That's probably just so you could be like, yeah. I, I, no, not. I said I don't read them. I said I still have them. Okay. Now, I don't read them. Let me ask you this question. I don't Why know. do you still have them? Because I do. Because it was heartfelt. There's no reason for me. That was it. Was it was a special moment at that time. And no matter what relationship you win, um, there's good All and right. bad. Do you do do you agree with that we're two different men? Oh, absolutely. Do you think that I've got letters in my in my past? Absolutely not. Uh, yeah, I have letters. <laughs> what the hell? You just said I got that. letters. Okay. Okay. Do you think I keep them? No. Fuck, I'm going to keep them okay, for. Okay, that's, that's you. That's absolutely you. I understand that. I, I, okay, and that's what I'm. That's my point. The point is, is that not every man is going to cherish it. I so understand that, but it's not. Wanna... It's See, but the, when you write a letter to someone, it's, it's, it's to a person. But, again, you're giving without any expectations. You know what I have? I have a letter uh -huh. that Mia wrote me while I was in Iraq. Okay. Ooh, you read that letter, you're going to cry. Oh, I want to read it. That was one of the Look, Judy said, my husband, Judy said, my husband left me a letter on the windshield. I hope it didn't rain. When I, <laughs> when I left to go home from work, it was on my car. It actually made me cry. It was so thoughtful. I, I can... It, it was so thoughtful. I can get a million of them. They're all different. I'd love to save them. See, okay. See, I mean. See, that's we, good, Judy. See? Women but, women are really, uh, they're they're more emotionally tied than men. Right. Uh, yes. Right. But That's uh, a fact. They, they are. Uh, but I'm, you are more detached emotionally. But that's only because I, I got, I, in my life, in, in yeah, a 24 you, hour you, day, I got so much going on. I'm like, okay. Like, my, my, my attention span is like. <laughs> Like a five year old? Yeah. It's like, okay. I don't know, bro. Don't you know you had doing. something to say behind that. <laughs> he had something to say behind that. You saw that, right? Wow. I was gonna say something and I paused and I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know, let's just go, let's keep going, you know. But that. see, it's about it's about your significant other. Mia knows that. Yeah, it is, it is. You think Mia's gonna bring me flowers? She know I don't care about flowers either. True. She'll give me something that I'm going to appreciate and you Well, yeah, being in a relationship, once, day, once, yeah. once, you, once you get to know each other, you know, your partner. And that's and what, then, I yeah. think that's what it boils down to, you know, boils down to, not just chocolates and flowers and couples massage, I think, is a great idea. Like, I wouldn't mind doing that again, though. Like, we don't do that all the time. I, I'll probably do that. That's a great idea. So when they massage you, did they go to the nalgas? Dude. I don't know what I was feeling. You were feeling something, though. I didn't, listen, that was my first massage ever. So when I came out of there, I was walking on clouds. Like, I felt literally like I was walking on air. Oh, by the way, cheers. Oh, we can Yeah, because you just yeah. drank him and didn't even offer anything. That's some rude shit right there. It's not right? rude. I'm just drinking. I thought we was on the block. I, listen, I mean, I'm a thug. Yeah, we used to do this on the block. Yeah, right? that's, we're, dressed, we're dressed like that. Like, yeah. we're on the corner right now. I hear you. Only difference is I own a house. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's no corners here. Yeah, and there's no corners here. So, so that. Anyway, all right. So we done with this Valentine's thing. So you got massa- Okay, so let's break it down. Mushy. So we got we got massages. Um, love song. So there you go. You got you got two avenues right there. You could always Google shit. <laughs> What's today? What's today? Today is the when is Valentine? The fourteenth. Today's the twelfth, I think. I believe. Yeah, we are February twelfth. I got two days to come up with this shit. Well, t- today's over, bro. You got one day. God damn. And tomorrow's Super Bowl, so it's shot. You better sleep on it. With one eye open. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I I I'll get it. I'll get it. I by the next time you guys come on this show when me is here. She, I think she'll be happy. Okay. Right, we're we're going to see. She has a smile on her face or she got a frown on her face. That's going to be a week away. She don't... Yeah. You think your Valentine's gift is going to freaking last that long? Valentine's Day is every day, puppy. Oh, my God. Valentine's Day is every day. Get sexy bedrooms. Who stuff. said that in the comments? Sasha. Sasha, of course. <laughs> Sasha, of course. This is your man, apparently. <laughs> Sasha, Sasha's just a trip. She just she kills me. All right, so... So, now, going back to your music... I wanted to touch on something, which is people being supportive. Oh. So, um, and this also goes, she has a million ideas. I bet you do. Uh, all you women are complicated. Yeah, I said it. I, I, you said I, Mia isn't complicated. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you haven't met her yet, bro. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Whatever. Don't start me. Yeah, so. I love my wife. Don't get me wrong. You can love your wife, but it doesn't mean she's simple she's either. She's complicated. Yeah, and I hate when y'all... When y'all late, some of y'all ladies, I have to be really, really, really careful when I say shit. Like some of you, some of you ladies say, ah, "I'm not complicated." Bullshit. I said what I said. I'm leave it at that. Anyway, about people being supportive, and and recently, but it, hold on, before you get into that, men are complicated too. Don't get it wrong. People are com- humans are complicated. As, okay, so as, let's not say fuck. women are complicated. No, no, no. I, men are no, complicated no, 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 no. too. I'm, no. When have you ever heard, when do you hear often a man say, I'm complicated? No. A man is not going to it's not no, going to okay. give that out. I understand but that. But he's complicated. But, but women, many women say, oh, I'm simple. No, 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 no. I, I hear it all the time. No, no, no. And Stop I'm, lying to yourself. Exactly, ladies. exactly. Don't do that. Don't do that. Exactly, that's We're my point. We're all complicated regardless because you might like chocolate, but you don't like certain chocolates. I don't like peanuts in my chocolate. I like peanut butter without the peanuts. You know what I'm saying? I like dark, but not super dark. I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna give me a sandwich, but I can't fucking give me a sandwich without giving it the way she wants it. I, make sure you have the the mayonnaise spread thick, the 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 the, the fucking turkey about this high, cheese. I want four. I want, I want four, four slices, slices of cheese. cheese. Come on, are you freaking? It's a sandwich. Everybody's complicated. It doesn't matter. Okay? But anyway... Where am I going to dip my pretzel? So back to the Pause. music. Before, whoa! <laughs> Sasha? We got Cheese Whiz. Leave Sasha alone, man. She's We're not going to take this... Hey, Look, listen. we got Cheese Whiz. We got... Ooh. Oh, we got the cream. Why you kept that dip. on your side? That's my favorite shit. Yeah, and we got some Tostitos over it there. It ain't over there. It's right chips. here. You know, I, I'll put it on your side. That's I, my shit. I ain't supposed to eat none of this shit. I don't care. Oh, I, I look sexy don't fat. <laughs> I don't ah, give a fuck. He actually said, yo, they're not going to be able to see your chains because, you know, they're, they're lower. I said, well, I have to gain my belly back so they can just sit. Let it, yeah, they'll he, sit right here. He lost a lot of, he lost a lot of weight. So, so um, yeah, so going back to being supportive. And earlier, earlier in the week, I believe earlier in the week, there were two, two, two stories that went viral on social media. I'm gonna take that. One was the suicide uh. the de- <laughs> of um, of a former Miss America or Miss Universe, Holy right? Holy crap! And they're delicious, right? With that, in this? Mm-hmm. Holy crap! So there was that, and I think in the same day. What also went viral was Rihanna and announced her pregnancy. And her with announced her pregnancy. Rocky. Right. Mm-hmm. So it was a. Am- I had a conversation with your wife about it, and in regards to, it's amazing how, what most people gravitate to, right? Not Every- only that, but you know what's weird? I didn't even know you had that conversation. I posted about that. I I was I was disgusted 
and people took this like totally wrong because I said this. I, I was just disgusted with everybody posting so much mm -hmm. about Rihanna's pregnancy and nobody acknowledged Miss USA had committed suicide. Mm -hmm. Young, young, beautiful lady, and um, it's it's a very, very integral um situation when it recom when it comes to mental health, and it's why you always you know we always on the lookout for you know our friends and families and just people in general that are having issues, you know, mentally that they that we know, but. It seems that this this young lady gave no signs, and a, a lot of times there no, aren't she any gave signs. signs. She gave signs. Yeah. She posted something. In hindsight, no, no, no. She posted something. Yeah, but for everybody but, telling them to enjoy them, enjoy. I their understand lives that, but that things. that was at the point. Like, there's always cues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beforehand, like giving away so, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like a lot of people deal with depression. Like mm -hmm. I deal with depression. You might you see me and you see me here and all this, and I'm smiling and laughing, but I have my bouts with depression and I'm still dealing with them. And it's it's listen. We have to check on not only our friends and family members that are that we know have issues, but we also have to check on our friends who are always smiling and laughing because a lot of times they're the ones that are really in the dark. Mm -hmm. They always dwell in the dark, and it's very important to always have the support. That's why I'm a bigger proponent of always being kind because you never know what a person is going through. No matter how much they laugh, how much they smile, how much they give, no indication that. And there's nothing wrong. Everything is peachy keen. Life is fucking fantastic. And boom, one day, all of a sudden, you hear a, a story like the uh, the young lady that took her off. But going to the point that I was going to, and what you had posted, everybody was posting about Rihanna. How many people know Rihanna? Raise your hands. How many people know ASAP Rocky? I didn't even know that ASAP Rocky was banging Rihanna. I didn't even know that. I can care fucking less. I don't know neither of them. You know what I'm saying? And if I did, hey, great for me. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm going, I'm going to concerts. But it's just how what people take as importance and how Rihanna's disclosure of her being pregnant took precedent over something so magnanimous as the death of this young lady. And that leads me to the whole thing about people being supportive. Most of the, the masses support people that they don't even know. Have no clue. They have them. nothing. Never will meet them. Absolutely will never engage with them. Won't have a conversation. Won't break bread with them. Will, but will repost, like, heart. Oh my God. This, there's, there's something, there's something when you're a fan and there's something where, and I believe it's a fucking obsession, yeah. because at that point, but you have a, a, a friend who's doing a clothing line, and they started with one shirt, and they said, hey, can you, hey, I'll give you the shirt, can you put it on and repost it? I mean, we have plenty of people, and that's why we said on this show, like, you got a business, you got something going on, hey, shoot us a text, um, send us the information, and we'll, show, and we'll shoot it out, and I've done that for many people. Um, just putting it on posts and so forth, so on, because you know, you know, as this show grows, as his music company grows, we're gonna be pulling people up with us, people that we know they're doing, because uh, you know we have to change the whole cycle in regards to legacy. You know, it's it's dominated by the one percent, and they're not our color. You won't believe they're not our color, you and I know you gripe about it a lot, where people are always saying, oh. That they want this, they want that, but they want all these things from you, but they can't show you some love. Yeah, this, this, it's always that. Though, Speak right? on I mean, that. It, it, the problem is, is that you know, people like you for only a couple of minutes, right? People you, only and people like you because they it, can use you, or they. Yeah, I, I know there are a couple reasons. Or all of a sudden, you're famous, and now they want to jump on the bandwagon. But when you were grinding, when you were doing. 10 hour sessions when you were broke when you were when you were down in your luck all of us no I can't help you but all of a sudden people rise like the phoenix people and they don't like they the process jump on it. they don't like the process they just like they just like they like the result 
They don't like the process. They like the results. I tell I, I tell that to all my athletes all the time. I, every time my coach is like, yeah, you can love the sport, but if you don't love the practice that makes you great in the sport, you're not going to be great you in the sport. You want to play like Derek Jeter at, the, at shortstop, but you don't you don't know what he knows. Not even that. Like, I, 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 I hear, um, I listen to YouTube. It's like Kobe Bryant made a lot of game-winning shots. Those game-winning shots weren't made on that game. Those game-winning shots were made in practice when he woke up at 4.30 in the morning and was in the gym for three hours. Before and there's we multiple stories of people saying, listen, I don't understand this dude. Like, the game is at, the game is at 8 o'clock at night, and he's in the gym at 4.30 in the mm-hmm. morning. He Nobody made that game winning shot because he was in practice making two thousand shots. Yeah, and that's and that's what that is. It's like the process is where you, you gotta love the process. The, uh, the the support me in my process. Don't support me in the right, result. Right, exactly. So and the process is basically yeah. Hey, especially with social media, how it, it takes what a second, a millisecond to like or share or repost really. There's many, there's so many people that take their time, half an hour, 45 minutes to, to create some type of meme and all this about people. They have no fucking, they have no relation. Or to no make fun of them. Like, they'll take them. time to make fun of people, you know, but, but won't take time to support them. You can't, and shout out to everybody who's bought merchandise from my company exactly. and took pictures and things. Like, I love you guys. Thank you so much for, for supporting me and supporting my company and supporting everybody. But we're addressing those people who, who take the 45 minutes out and then say later on when somebody is in the process, I don't have the time. But you freaking just created a whole meme about somebody. Uh Uh-huh. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's ridiculous. And it's just, and those are the same people that when you're grinding and all of a sudden you're popping off and now all of a sudden they want to come back. Uh, No, I'm not. I Nope. Uh, and then at that point, that, that, it's too late. At that point, but it's then, like what then, Meek Mill said: if you don't come to me talking about how you're gonna set up the stage, don't talk to me about the tickets. Yeah, but then you're you're perceived. Oh, now you're full of shit and this and this. Oh, really? Oh, well. I wasn't full of shit when I was grinding, when I was doing ten hour sessions every single day, when I wasn't going out and I was working. I was in like you're in the studio every weekend and you're doing this and doing that. Yep. You weren't there. You weren't being supportive. And now because now they see, oh shit. All that work is paying off. People don't want to work, period. Uh, in, in my company, we, we in everything, in everything, even here in Aces Up, we don't we don't piggyback off of off of, off of trendy people. Mm-mm. We're here, we're doing it from like we built it from the dirt up. Listen, I go I go on social media and when we and shout out to everybody who's with us. Every Absolutely. freaking week and trust me, every week. Trust me, we know, we know we know we know we know who you are. And when that time comes, we'll, you you be you know you 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 be shouted out for sure. I rem- super we- mega producer, I'm gonna take care of you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know I do. Everything I, is noted. We did podcasts, and I went and I I went on Instagram for example, and I went through all the podcasts, and I went to their pages. I listened to some of their posts. I listened to some of their podcasts. I started following. I started liking. I started reading some of the people's comments. I started following. I started showing love. I reposted. And what, what most people do in, in, in the podcast realm, and I have to really say that's really cool, we get the same love as well. You know, I, I mean, I know the whole algorithm thing and all that, but it's consistent. I'm always, every single day, I'm following some new podcaster. I'm learning at the same time because this is a, this is a, a work in progress and there's always time to learn from other people and um, always showing love and get shown love back. Sometimes don't get love and that's fine. That's great. But we're going to continue showing love because love, if you show love, love is going to come back. One way or another, it's just going to come. Yeah, no. Listen, it, it's a tough game in every in, in everything we do when you're in, in the process. Happy Super Bowl, Jacob. So on Instagram. Yeah. Sasha says, Sasha says we support painting me. <laughs> wow. uh, I got to say, Sasha, yeah, Sasha. She actually sent me, she t- sent me a text, um, and she was like, what do you mean you're not going to be on Sunday? What the hell am I going to do? And I just started crying when I saw the text, laughing, because I was like... 
And it's great. That's super dope. Yeah, it's super, super it is super dope. Like, it's not It's not like we get a, a, a 100 million followers. Wait, so y'all telling there. me y'all mad because Mia's not here? <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't get your fix because Mia's not here? Oh. <laughs> See, what now, the hell? You're reading between the lines and that might not. That Am might, I doing that? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll It's not there. It's not there. Absolutely right, not right, there. I'll it's, leave it there. Yeah, but I, I, I just, I'm, my thing is, is I'm, I love being part of the process. Yeah. And people, you know, I, I got some comments, and I'm gonna go back to the, the post, um, because I made the comment, I made the comment about how people are posting about Rihanna, but nobody's talking about this, this young woman who, who committed suicide. You know what I'm saying? Um, it doesn't matter if she's beautiful. It doesn't matter if she's intelligent. She's a human at the end of the day, and she committed suicide, and nobody was talking. Nobody maybe was talking about mental maybe illness. one or two people. Let's give credit to the one or two people. Mm -hmm. One or two people posted it because that's the, that's how I found out. Obviously, because I, I I don't always go to Facebook News and I don't always go to freaking CNN. I don't trust them. So you can't but, trust you can't trust the media. Yeah, but anyway, the point is is that there are people who do bring it out. But then some of y'all, you don't even know DJ Khaled, but you posting that he's in his fucking Maybach with the top down. Nobody cares. Or share their lives. Like, their lives. They're, oh, I'm sharing their life. I'm like, okay, are you getting how, anything out of it? How many people shared our live today? I got one. I got one. We in no. the process. How many people shared And it's all right. Life? We're not calling anybody out. No, we're, we're right. not. We're not. But the point but is... But that's just facts. It's, it's just, just simple facts. That's, that's reality. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And you know what? Uh, shout out to everybody who bought Young Viral's album. Um, a lot of people support it. Young Viral, and I think they got a great product because I got great feedback. Now we're working on a lot of things and the process and things like that, and I think um, a lot of a lot of you a lot of you guys are are super supportive. I don't think one day we, Viral will be doing the halftime show. One produced you know, by Big Face Music World. One person told me that we shouldn't be expecting support from family and friends. Those are the last people that support you, for the most part. The it's last, weird. It's it is crazy. They are. You know, how many people I met that I don't know. Yeah. That obviously, I just met, and they support a hundred percent. Like I can put out clothing, I can put out music, I can put out anything, and they're like on it. Absolutely, absolutely. Now I do have family and friends that that do it too, but. Yeah. I'm just saying, like they're on people, it. It's real. It's real people, and it just it just becomes. But yeah, I, I, it's unfortunate. Like friends and family will be the last ones to support you. Not everybody. Let me let me let. It's not everybody. Yeah, it's not but everybody. but there's a big majority. They they're the ones that will least support you. They're the ones that will give you the worst advice because it's a biased opinion. Yeah. It's a completely biased yeah, but, opinion. Uh, the, but that's what, that's my point. That's my question. Should we expect because it's a biased op opinion? You, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I understand, but we shouldn't expect anything. Like, we started this podcast because we wanted to do this podcast. And listen, I, I'm going to tell... Funny story. I was in the studio with him, and we were, I was helping... From time to time, I'm, I'm helping him out. He engineers a lot of the, a lot of the songs. You know, so... And, and, and we talked to shit, and... We started talking about the podcast, and I just remember, and I, you know, I, I'm old, so my memory sometimes fades. Oh, you admitted that? Yeah, I'm old. Wow. Yes, yo, viejo, viejo. But I remember when we started talking about the podcast, and your eyes lit up. Like, oh, we can do this, and that, and this, and that. And I was like, bro, slow the fuck down, bro. Uh, listen. <laughs> you just, you went, you went from when zero to my wife. When it I'm comes like, to my wife, and it comes to Nelson, and it comes to my daughter... You tell me an idea, I'm going. I'm going ten thousand percent. I was like, bro, and in my head, I was like, yo, this. Food. I don't care if I got to spend the last dollar in but my I, pocket. I, You're I, gonna do it. I love, like, I love that passion. I'm like, yo, he's not. Even, and this is the thing. You weren't even talking about being on on the screen. You were like, yeah, we could do this and we could do that because your creative, part, your passion, your creative part just took over, and it was like, yeah, that, like the creative shit. part comes behind the scenes, and a lot of people don't know that. I don't like to do this. I, I, I mean, I'll do he it. Was, yo, he was so nervous in the beginning. I'll like, do it. Yo, but... the, the, the lights were hot. And me and told him, it was like, can I use your phone? Me no, was laughing at I got me. notes. Hey, we all like, yo, he turned five years old. Yeah, she was laughing at me. I'm like, listen. And it's not the first time he's on. But like, it's, I mean, 
It's like the first time that he knew he was going to be on. I've done interviews. I've done. Yes. But for some reason, this show made me more nervous. This was the first time that you were actually, you actually knew you were filling in. Because yeah. you've usually just popped in. We did uh we did Sasha said you are old, by the way. I am old. Thank you, Sasha. I got no problem. <laughs> we did we did one show because we were testing out all the equipment and all that and we were just shooting the shit. So it just comes up. But you already knew a couple of days ago, oh shit, I'm gonna be upset. But I, again, <laughs> I wear so many hats yeah. that I can't think about it. Like I so like a couple days ago, when did you guys tell me that I was gonna I was gonna be on the show? Two days ago? Wednesday, Three days yeah, ago? Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. In between Wednesday and yesterday, I've had multiple <sighs> studio sessions. We, we had a even, long one yesterday. Oh, and which was a, an amazing one. Shout out to Sila La Sicaria. That's, a, that's an artist of mine. You guys got the song that she did yesterday? With Javi? Javi, what is it? Javi oh, the Javi Bang? Dang. Javi Dang. Oh, Shout out to Javi Dang out there. He's part of Big Face Music World. He's a producer that is amazing. Holy moly. And the, young, too. This is crazy. Wow. Young. He's amazing. I can't wait till you guys hear this music. But um, we came up with so many ideas. It was a long, long session, but it was great. Those productive days, are, I love it. I wake up in the morning happy yeah. on productive days. What, what were you talking about? I can't even get Support, that. basically. But so, I thought that whole story. was like, damn. Like, all I said was, let's, you know, okay, let's get this podcast going. I'm already yeah. here. I'm permanent. I'm living in Florida. Let's go. And you were like, yeah, this is bang, 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 bang. I'm like, I felt like I was on a roller coaster, and I just got off it, and I was like, holy shit. Because I support the and process. I, 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 I love I, the I, process. And I love that shit. And, you know, while it took a while for us to do it, when I saw him, like, his energy was so infectious. And I was like, yo, you're right. And then, like, we just took off, like... When you got an idea... Thank you, Sasha, holding me down. Leave me alone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So when you got a pro, you know when you got, if you ha- if you surround yourself in a circle, with positivity and yes, yes. great energy, makes great things difference. happen. You know, yeah. and 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 it, makes a difference. And it might be something that, like for example, it's something we were thinking for a while, and you you your energy was like just put it over the top. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go. Let's do it. Balls to the wall. Let's go do it. And here we are. And then you know that that's how it is. Because honestly. I had no fucking concept of how the fuck to, to do this shit. You know, I can I can look at all the YouTube videos and follow all these people, but yeah, this whole setup and shit, and we're going to do some behind-the-scenes things. Like Speaking of setup and behind-the-scenes things, oh, I can't wait till next weekend. Y'all got a surprise. Oh, we got, we, got some, we got some juicy. Y'all got a surprise. Juicy! I, I need y'all to know y'all got a surprise. We got some juicy weekend. stuff going on. So, if you're not, if, listen, share the podcast, like, comment, let them know, especially to be here next weekend. Hopefully, Mia will be here next weekend. You know, she's taking, she took the day off. You know, we don't rush her. She's a queen. She does whatever she wants. She throw her red bottoms up. <laughs> Let her head down. She do whatever she want. You know what I'm saying? And I'm happy to fill in anytime. I don't know if I should read this letter or not. What letter is she this? Got a, she got a letter. What the hell uh-huh. is that? She got a letter. Oh, my Look, God. Even when she's not here physically, she got a letter. So, my Speaking of Mia, let's just do it. My let's instructions it. were, you know, once you get enough followers or whatever the case of it is, you know, it is what it is. But I didn't you know even what? know about this. Yes, that's what that's what the first note was. So, um, I'm stressed, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> I'm stressed. It's not about you, bro. It's not about it's, how you it's, know. It's you didn't even read you, the letter. Y'all. Listen, I was forbidden, forbidden, and I was like, all right. So you know what? I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this pretzel stick and I'll just... t- take a swig, take a swig of the drink. Uh, can it. I get a beer? Yeah, you want I'm a, beer? Over here. a beer? Listen, our setup is so dope. You see the football? We got a fridge on the side. Like we're our shit is gonna be evolutionary. Like I've gotten comments about um oh question battery. You have to change it because we're already an hour in. Oh shit! So mega producer is gonna go check on the behind the scenes things. But um, our setup is evolving, and eventually you're gonna see. For those that keep continue following and support us, and and are in our journey, you're gonna see how we are going to evolve, and how this is gonna be the bombastic type of podcast. I've got we've gotten feedback in regards to, um, hey, you should do a podcast this way, and you should do a podcast that way. We take all the criticism, and let's. Let's get that straight. But 
unless you're actually sitting down and doing a podcast, um, we don't want to be a traditional podcast. And this is why we do it this way. It's like a live show. We got comedy. We got all things. Things go wrong. And we want to show that. Because in every podcast, there's something going wrong. There's something, there's a glitch, there's always technical difficulties. Once we get it all ironed out, things will run more smoothly. But we want to be 100% transparent in there regards to the whole thing. That, sh- that make it look like they're perfect. Though. Right. You know, yeah. everybody's used, uh, many people are used to these, these streamlined podcasts, and they got to have a subject, and they got to have a certain time limit, and this, this, and this, and that. No. We want to shoot the shit. We want to have an audience that, is feels like they're in the green room, as we call it, the green room, right? So we're we're in, in the transition of transforming where we do this podcast, and uh, we're going to show you the before and after on how it transitions. So we don't want to be fake, you know. If Like, he has to step out because we don't have an intern right now. Eventually, we will. We'll have an intern working, working the cameras. We'll have an intern working the computer. And we'll be more free to do, you know, different things. But for the meantime, this is how we grind. This is how we do things. It's not a problem. I Just Peaches it. said, Roll. you know, Roll. It's, yeah, it's all it is. That's that's all we're doing. Cammy and a whole bunch of people on Instagram love you, like you, you know. Hey, Cammy, how you doing? I haven't spoken to you in a while. How are things in South, 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 South Florida? That's mega oh, south. That's mega south. Yeah. They hot over there. She miss. She down like. She, I'm curious, Cammy. Cammy, how's the weather down there? Like it, it, it's a little brisk during the evening here. First of all, speaking of Cammy, Cammy, how you doing? Listen, I'm about the process. Hey, if I went this way, it's because the fridge is on my side because I'm a fat ass. Hi, Laurie. Thank you. Authentic. Yes. Cammy, you looking great. That's all I'm gonna say. I know what you had to do. You're working hard. Salute to you. Love them great. Cammy, love your kids, bro. They are they Amazing. are especially your daughter. Amazing. She is fucking she's I love, a trip. I love her dating advices. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. So all right, so let's get to this letter. Yeah, let's get to this I'm letter. Of this letter. According to she said, listen, when we get enough viewers, and you know what? I'm like, you know what, the hell with the viewers. I mean, because we get a lot of viewers. And to be honest, we got a lot of viewers that actually are not in the live, but they actually watch the post um, the on YouTube, yeah. on Facebook Live, on Instagram. They watch, they watch it because obviously circumstances, and we do go a little long, and I understand that, um, but we're not going to change the format because that's how the vibe is. That's, that's, how, that's just basically as simple as that. Yeah. So she had given me instructions that when you get it from viewers, I'm like, you know, and we do have enough viewers, but honestly, we're good. we get more viewers after the facts of being alive. And I understand it's Super Bowl weekend, and people party are doing their things. Saturday, out. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's why we chose Sunday, because most of the times people are home on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? I don't see many. It's one thing we learn. A lot of podcasts aren't done on a Saturday because of the fact that people are out on Saturday. They don't work, and they're going out. And so, so Saturday is not the greatest day. Fridays are usually the most popular, but for the most part, it's either Sundays or during the week yeah. that podcasts are done, yeah. and a lot of them are post-production. Mind you, we do live. So live, we have to be very kind of specific in regards to what day it is. Like hey, right Lori. now, we're doing Sundays. Eventually, we'll probably do Sundays, and then we're going to do something short during the week just to keep everything engaged. But, you know, as as, light, as we grow, we're going good. In the light of talking about Mia while you do that. Uh-huh. We were talking about doing another show during the Oh week. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she don't want that show. Oh. But that's another oh, topic. Well, speaking about that, her Mia's son, Miguel, yes. started a podcast. It's dope as hell. Dope as hell. Um if I if I find you gotta find it. You have it? Yes, I'll, all right, I'll so find it. I believe it's called Gencast. So yes. it's it's him there and his two of his friends. They're doing a podcast. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music. We will be on Spotify and Apple soon. Um, we doing it live and we're doing video because we, we love the interaction, you know, and, you know, his wife always trying to chew me out and all this other stuff. So, but we have great chemistry and him and I also have great chemistry. You know, I got to tell you something. There's a couple of people that actually said, 
I like when you and Ben are doing the, the podcast. I'm like, hi, muchacho. Like, Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to go to sleep tonight. Uh, so, actually, um, Big Face and me were thinking about, because he wants, he wants to do, like, a radio show. But the radio show is going to be very specific to music and sports. There's obviously, a correlation with yeah. So, so obviously, funny. he's got the music down. I got, got the sports, sports. Mm-hmm. so uh, I can talk sports all day. I can talk about sports all day because I'm a coach. I mean, I love sports, and that's why I can talk about sports. But I'm very well versed in all the sports: baseball, basketball, football. I can I talk, talk sports. I can sports. But he knows the technicality, yeah, the so history, like, things I, like I'll that. Break like, down, I, I I'll break down. You. I'll break down. I'll break down. Don't call me and all that. about Deion Sanders. That that wasn't my time. I don't. That's I right, Jacob. You. Yeah, Jacob on Instagram. We keep it real. We got to keep it real. We keep it real, like she says. Okay, so I'm going to read this. Without further ado. I'm going to read this letter. I'm going to get my my um, my sexy radio voice. I'm going to practice for that for that, for that that Big Faith Music World um, radio here show we that we're doing. Here, here we go. go. Okay, so I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk in my sexiest voice that we got. All right, Instagram, YouTube. Um, Facebook. Um, we're gonna be on. We're gonna do a TikTok live too, just to let you know. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Damn, I feel high. That's just why. So that know, Holy crap, I'm high. Just Not so literally. You know, we, you saw him open up this letter. We don't know what's in this yeah, letter. Yeah, we don't know. She had it. So, she had it sealed. She put. Her, I just touched her freaking saliva right now, and yeah. I'm like, ugh, disgusting. Because I'm pretty sure I know where her mouth has been. So I'm like, I yo. So let's go. I'm sitting back. So here we go. So, first of all, her instructions were, please read this letter when we got enough viewers. And as I explained, we have it to Saturday. We don't have uh, the amount of viewers that we usually get because of the day and the weekend, Super Bowl, so forth and so on. But a lot of people watch this after the fact. So, the important thing is getting the message out whenever the message gets to someone. That's the most important part. So, for no further ado. I'm going to read this. These are not my words. These are hers. My cohort. So she says, to my ace, to my ace, super mega producer, and all, my, all our followers and supporters. As you can see, there is an empty space where I should be, nice. which is filled by super mega producer. Yes. Okay? We yes. love you, Mia. Um, why, is, why is Sasha? Because I was highlighting on her. Oh, I'm like, y'all, stop. And yeah, we here, we here. Thank you, we appreciate it. Muchacho, Sasha already got that. All right, so as you can see, there's an empty space where I should be, which Super Mega Producer right now is filling in. I owe you all an apology. I lost the best version of me. Ace, your words were on point. I don't know what words she's speaking about because I, I can talk. Um, I believe... You, when you said, there are times that you look at me, okay, listen to me, and do not recognize me. You see, I'm going to have to put my glasses because I'm blind as fuck. I'm like, holy shit. And I told her to, to write this in words that I can, that any human being can write because her script is, looks amazing, but sometimes it's difficult to read. So let me read this again. Ace, your words were on point. I believe you when you said there are times that you look at me and, okay, listen to me and do not recognize me. And I did tell her that. I told her that recently. I wrote her recently that I do not recognize who she is to me. Um, you see in the midst of helping others, of being there for everyone else, I completely lost myself in the, in the choices others have made. And she is 100% correct. She gives more than she actually has. I all owed others to put ideas in my head. Sadly, this has cost me my sanity. I blame no one but me. So in order to do what's best for me, I have to take time to detox from everything and anything that is destructive to me. No one else can do this for me, so I'm doing this alone. Because the bullets are only aimed at me. I promised 
you all the transparency. Today my heart breaks because I won't be back until I am the best version of me. What Ace, I don't expect you not to be angry, hurt, disappointed, nor do I expect you to forgive me. However, all I want when I come back is for you to recognize me. Super mega producer. Oh, Lord. That's for you. Take my spot, honey. Woo! With an exclamation point, Papa. Yeah, I heard that. I, I, she gave me the blessing. Do your thing and shine. My followers, I share this publicly to prevent false narratives. Fairy tales and lies. Where's that button? Fairy tales and lies. That's, her, that's her actual voice. Yo, I got to mute this because I hear a freaking echo and I, I completely... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, like oh, I'm a hot mess, bro. I'm about to cry. Um, my followers, I share this publicly to prevent false narratives, fairy tales and lies of my absence. You're hearing my words from me and only me. It's actually not fairy tales and lies. I agree with her. Love you all. Good you. Mia, Malabe, Malabe. I say it that way. Ace is up. Turnover. She, she, even in her absence, she's giving orders. That's some bullshit. We love you, Mia. Love I you. promise. I promise. I will be back. I promise I will work. Work hard. And put back every broken piece of me. Because I, too, want to recognize the best version of me. And these, she will. She's very strong. These are her words. Yes. These, And as I read them to you. It is the first time him and I he are... He and I. He and I. I'm, I'm gonna sorry. Be I'm gonna be Holy Mia. shit. He wow, this I. shit rubbed off. 18 years, man. Holy to shit. I, it should. So, um, these, this is the first time we're listening to these words that oh. she's written. Mm -hmm. She forbid me to open this letter. Um, and even in her absence, her presence is <laughs> is magnanimous to say the least. She's here, you know. So it's 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 great. And you know, I did I did tell her, you know, that I did not recognize. Her. I've known her for a very classic. very she's very classic. long time. She's classy. Yeah. She's classic, and I and I and I appreciate that letter. That was dope. Super so, dope. So um, for you guys that don't know her, and you guys are getting to know her, and it's great. Um, and this is one of the reasons you get to know me, you get to know her, you get to know Big Face. And um, to be honest, you're not getting the version of me that I've really been. And you're definitely not getting the version of her, who she is in an entirety. I, I like, don't think you're that we, in two, three hours. Yeah, like, like you don't know who she is like we know who she is. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, for her to say, you know, to, to write these words on paper and then to have me read them out loud and to disclose this in complete transparency, yes. um, you know. It she takes, followed through with her Yeah, words. it takes a lot of courage. Yeah. Um, we don't want to bullshit you, obviously, I, you know, and absolutely don't want to bullshit you um, why she's not here. Uh, and when many of you were expecting her to be, you know, by my side. Um, so, you know, with that being said... Um, our love is always here for you. Yes. Your seat is only being kept warm by the nalgas of Big Face Benny. I warm them. <laughs> I warm these seats. But she'll be back. She'll be back stronger we and better you, than ever. You know, and you know, cheers to you, Mia. We love you always. You know, I, I hope that, um... Uh-oh. Oh, what's that? Uh-oh. She might not be on, but she's on. What's she doing? Hello? You got to press the button? I don't know. I don't know. She just called and I don't know. She's calling in the show. See? Oh. She... Check, the, check the letter. What? You skipped the whole page. I did not skip a whole page. Just one, two. There you oh go. Oh, my God. See? <sighs> you know, I, I can't, I can't we got with you, her. Mia. We got you. All right. So, <laughs> I have to laugh because she gave me three pages and I'm reading it, I'm, so I'm, you know, I'm blind. So I see one. I'm just seeing she has page one. She has page two and then page four. But see, 
She didn't write turnover on she here. She was accurate though. She gave you the numbers. No, of the pages. she she put turnover. You can't go to two to four. You got to. I, I wasn't reading that because she put turnover, so I turned over here. I didn't I know. I got you, baby. Out. You did a good job. All, All right, right. Let's, I understand. Let's let's go. Okay, so we read page one. We're gone. Look, page one gone. All right, so that way I, I don't get it mixed. So I read page two. I'm gonna continue from where bottom of page two says. I am the best. Uh, let's go back. Let's do rewind like we do on Netflix for thirty seconds. I won't be back until I am the best version of me. Mm. She she had to write turn over here, but she didn't. She wrote it on this page. That's not my <laughs> fault. Fuck that. I'm not t I'm not taking no accountability for this bullshit. So, what good would I be to you, mm -hmm. my ace, mm -hmm. to aces up if I am only giving you all a facade of me? Right. Absolutely correct. Right. This was not an easy decision for me. Absolutely. Yeah, we know that. In the words of Adele. I hope I learn to get oneself. Stop trying to be somebody else. Because the real, raw, uncut truth, and this is what we always promote, is I am tired of being somebody else for everyone else. Mm. But me, but me. So that is where... That's the, the one page you missed. The one page, the one side of the page. Yeah, you that missed. missed that I, I missed it. I did. I did. Take accountability. I That's take accountability. Mean. I didn't see it. I didn't follow the directions. Sorry, I'm sorry, man. man. Sorry, sorry, man. man. I'll laugh. I'll say that. Sorry, man. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. You're going to have to watch the replay too. You just missed it, or if not, I'm not sure. But uh, I agree with her. Yes. And I and I thank her for taking that time out to explain it to everybody because I was that was one of the reasons why I was nervous today because I didn't know what to say and things like that and, and she but that's the whole great thing about this a, show she's a it's woman not, it's nah. not it's not scripted it's my girl it's she's not, a woman it's not scripted we're not doing she anything that, business we're not doing anything where there's a script and or if, if if we have to go off script the whole show goes bonkers no the reason there's no script because if it goes bonkers it goes fucking bonkers who cares yes you jumped in Alex jump in firecrackers just jumped so, in on Instagram so you guys heard uh, Mia's letter, and I'm just going to say that by no means do I sit in this chair and feel like I fit in her seat. She is amazing in, in every way, not in this show. I'm talking about as a person in my life. Wow, I hear Valentine's um, letter coming on God live. Damn, can I, I'm, I'm trying to say it. Go I ahead, don't say write. It. Slow it. Say it, say it. My bad. She, she is the best. I don't, listen, I'm going to tell you something. If everybody knew who I was, you would know. You know me in front of the screen. You know that I'm a techie. You know that I'm behind the screen. You know that I'm an engineer. You know that, you know that I wear a lot of hats. But what a lot of people don't know is the hat that I used to wear and the hat that Mia put on me. And that hat was being a man. And I didn't expect less from her in any situation. In this situation, she's being a woman. A grown fucking woman. And she sat there and she said, you know what? I need to be the best version of myself to come on the show. And I'm not that right now. And, I'm, and my job as a husband is to support that. Absolutely. And she came in here and helped me out, even with her not here, and she explained it. And I salute you. I salute you, baby. Thank you for doing that. And for everybody who's out there who don't know... Who doesn't? Wow. Yeah, I had to do the meal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> who doesn't know... Wow. Mia's his ace, but she's my life. Absolutely. And I salute her all the time. Me being a man is because of her. So that was just an example of the shit that I learned. If you guys don't know, Mia's older than me. And for you to say that you salute her, understand that you're looking at a military veteran. Yeah. At least two tours. Like... Not, not no bullshit tours. Mm -mm. He did some bullets whizzing past your ear, people dying tours. So when he says, I salute you, Mia, 
I'm not gonna salute it, everybody. That 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 you you don't understand how magnanimous that those words are. Yeah. When it comes from him. When you gotta deal with my shit every day, I salute you. And she deals with it. She deals with it. But when you gotta deal with your shit and you go out there and you say, you know what, I am woman and I make mistakes and I'm gonna make everybody understand that I I need to reset. You just put yourself on a fucking pedestal to me. Absolutely. Most people don't don't recognize. Not that, that she never to. was on a pedestal, but that pedestal is so much higher right now. You understand what I'm saying? Because she's done this before. She's done it before. It's not like it's not. It shouldn't be new to us. Because that's that's always who she's been. That's yeah. That's just us. That's why I say like when you get to see the version that we know that we know that we've seen, you know. And that I had a conversation with her actually on a couple of occasions in regards to, and that's why she refers to a couple of things that I've told her, um, in regards to that I, I don't recognize her, and and you know, I guess you know, it resonated with her. I mean, sometimes it just takes. A simple word or a letter. And this is the thing. For Christmas, and we're talking about Valentine's and all that. For Christmas, I gave her a handwritten letter. I gave him Mm -hmm. a handwritten letter. Which I still haven't had any feedback, but that's okay. Because I wasn't expecting. You said you don't expect the feedback. No, exactly. I don't. That's I I don't. But you see how we're programmed? I'm so cynical. But I gave him a letter. I gave both of them a letter in regards to, listen, this is... This is coming from the heart. I took the letter as, and I'm doing this live. I'm doing this live. I took the letter as if you cared about me and you wanted me to improve. Not that I needed to communicate. Absolutely. Right. So I looked at that letter and I was like, holy shit. He's on target. There are some things. And I'm not saying that I didn't think that I needed to work on things, but... You brought it to, like, you put the spotlight on it. Mm-hmm. Bing, 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 bing. And I was like, okay, I, I'll take that. Like, not too many people are going to do that. My brother Ray does it. My little brother Sid does it. Like, there's only a, a chosen few that would do it. And you have to respect it. You have to say, God damn, like, you got to take that in. Some people don't do that. And I think one of those things is, and, and, me, and I, I think that's what Mia's doing now. Like, she's looking at herself and she's, She's saying, how do, I, how do I make myself, you know, uh, better for myself? Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's that. It's not about being better for somebody else. We have to grow. We have to reinvent. We're always reinventing ourselves. Yeah. At, at some point or another, there's always things that happen in our lives that um, change our perspective, change our thought process, our mindset. But it, it's one thing I want to say, even with that letter. I want to say to Mia, because obviously she's watching. <laughs> For real, because she called. <laughs> I told you she'd be yo, she'd be sneaky. She'd be sneaky. Okay. Cheers to you, bro. Cheers to you, Ace. Baby, you super dope. I know what's going on, but you're super dope. That's hilarious. Man. I don't care what happened in the past. You're super dope. Yeah. Super dope. And if you're gonna get anything out of Valentine's, know that I know that you're super dope. That's your Valentine's Day gift. No, it's not. It's not. That's, listen to that's part of your Valentine's that's Day gift. part. But I know, I acknowledge, if you were, if you're a fucking weak man, if, you, if you're if you with a woman for 18 years and you don't acknowledge that she's super dope. Not even that acknowledge, like acknowledge it to the world. I'm a weak man if I'm with her for 18 years and she ain't super dope. My wife is super dope. Yeah, both are super dope. I mean, it happens sometimes to me. <laughs> I get it. My wife is super dope, B. Yo, listen. Let's thank you, Mia. Salud. You're a great woman. Absolutely. Nobody's See, ever going to change their mind about that. I promise you. See you soon. All I got to say is your past, everybody, your past does not define who you are. It does not. Absolutely not. It does not define you. Um, what defines you is what you do with your life in present tense. We all make mistakes. Mistakes. We all, we all, we are not perfect, but the objective in this life is to continually grow every single day. Every day that we wake up is an opportunity 
to correct whatever mistakes we did the day before. Not to dwell on them, to correct them if we made any mistakes and to improve. And you're corny if you don't wake up and, and not work on that. Right? Yes, it is absolutely like You it. have to work on it. You have to work on it every single day. Um, you know, we always got we always got your back. We'll always be there for you, no matter what. And it is what it is. We said what we said. Mia's not here. She took over the show. They said, ain't that some bullshit? Wow. Let's talk about the Rams and fucking okay. Bengals, bro. No, listen. I want to talk about some current events. Mia, we love you. Thank you for sharing that letter. We're going to move on. We're going to talk about some things. I want to talk about current events. Let's go. And sports. Because we, we are talking about... I'm not trying to make this a sport music show. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What? Before you talk about that, pull out the Oculus. <sighs> pull out the Oculus. Listen, listen before so I even... let's let let's talk. We talk about current events. How do you people feel about this whole metaverse shit? Like, it, isn't it ironic that Facebook didn't change Facebook, but the company parent changed it as Meta, and now all of a sudden it's Metaverse. People are buying first of all property. It's you're, not. It's not only Facebook. Microsoft. Oh, I yeah. Also, is you're going to correct me because you're much more I'm, versed on I'm this really than anything. Not. But I'm all excited because he sent me he sent me a video. Foo Fighters are going to be in the Metaverse first of after all, the Super Bowl tomorrow. Super dope. And I'm like, what the fuck? If y'all don't know me. I am one of the biggest Foo, fa- Foo Fighter fans there is. I got a tattoo of Foo Fighters. On I disagree. Leg. Well, I'm one of. I, I said one. Okay, I, I, I didn't won. Hear that I part. won. But shout out to TJ Demi Junior. TJ. He's uh, to me. Is well, TJ one. introduced me to Foo He's Fighters. To I'm me. always gonna give him accolades. We've been to quite a few Foo Fighter um um concerts, concerts and mm-hmm. we've had some fucking amazing times. I am a groupie. You know, I will marry David Grohl in a heartbeat. You know, pause, but whatever. But it is. But they're going to be on the metaverse. And I'm going to leave it to you to you know, elaborate on that whole shit. You know who else is going to be on the metaverse? Who? The halftime show. You can see it on your VR on Oculus. So explain to them what the whole freaking metaverse and I, I Oculus. I don't know. Listen, in my, in my company, I have departments, Okay. Shout out to Emma Nice. Emma Nice is the head of my department for the VR Metaverse. We have shows, concerts, and everything on Metaverse. He is also building a world as as well as helping me build mine um, for the Metaverse, where you guys can go ahead and, and, and purchase one of these. This is an Oculus. So okay. for, for those who do not quite understand, it's like The Sims. So you're building a whole world within those goggles. And it's like them. right there. Like, it's like in your face. I, I put those on, and I was actually walking with the Milwaukee Bucks and the Brooklyn Nets. No, Pelicans. Right. It was the Milwaukee Bucks and the Pelicans. So when I tell you, yeah. you look like you're at courtside, literally it looks like you're at courtside. And then there's all these other people. And all the players are like giants. like they, All these other people are just doing the same thing. I actually got into some beef. With some dude <laughs> in the metaverse. I was actually, I was impersonating him, but I got I got into some beef with some dude who decided to freaking put his avatar in front of me and do all this bullshit to disrupt me. It's like I that have, person in the, in the seats that stand uh, yeah. up instead of just freaking, and just stays there. I also got hit on by a blonde. Well, you know. And, but I was I was impersonating him. You no, know, it happens like, sometimes. But understand, it's it's your voice. So you're actually speaking to someone, a real life person, but in an avatar form. And he said, like, hi, cutie. I'm like, hi, blondie. I'm like, this is some crazy bullshit right now that's yeah. going on. It's 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 really crazy, but it's really it's real. It's absolutely I don't, I don't real. Care. I know it's virtual reality. It's not Doji coin, but, but it's real. <laughs> like for example. Uh, I think it's uh, Snoop Dogg who actually bought. Um, He's one of the one of the the first artists that has made it into uh, a social media um, viral event, and you know, yeah, you gotta buy, you gotta he buy bought property. land. He bought land in the, in the metaverse. metaverse. I don't know what that means. Dope. And then Michael Jordan and 
Sasha, you and me are going to have problems, bro, because you keep telling me I'm a problem child, I'm this, I'm that. You're focused on the 20%. That's why we're <laughs> never going to be in a relationship. We're Let's never going to be in a relationship. 20%. I can't. Uh, Michael Jordan and, and Michael Jordan and somebody else, they bought $46 million worth of NFTs and land and stuff like that in the metaverse. This this stuff is going to be Is that real. really like $46 million cash? Yes. Like real money? And just so y'all know, Into and I need y'all to Bitcoin understand Bitcoin and all this other digital currency? Big Face Music World, we have an NFT. Is 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 I didn't make it public yet, but for those of you who, who want it to be public, I'm going to make it below a penny so that you can purchase it only a certain amount. And this is where the 46 million comes in. Okay. Because after that, it's going to skyrocket. And then what? There are people who who are foreclosure in their homes and went into NFT and bought their home after the foreclosure because of NFT. That's crazy. It's similar to like Bitcoin it's and like, Dogecoin it's, it's and all that. It's cryptocurrency and it's a digital format. It's a of digital currency, format yes. of it, but you cannot go into NFT without having some type of currency in your bank account. And your actual physical bank account yes. or your digital bank? No, account? Your, your, your physical. Actual, yes, really. Okay. Yes, so I'm learning as you guys are learning. The company, I have no bank, the company bank account mm -hmm. um, helps create an NFT. And if the NFT sells a certain amount, obviously it goes straight to the company account. Okay. That's how that works. So I'm looking. Say, I'm looking at what the freak NFT is. Yeah. Unless you it's know a what non, it. it's a non fundable token. That is correct. Non fun, non fungible token. Right. Non fundable token. No, NFT. not fundable. Fungible. Fungible. Yeah. yeah there you how go. the fuck is fungible? It's a that shit on your toe. Uh, <laughs> Let me, let me, let me, um, let's educate ourselves because I'm going to educate myself. <laughs> I'm going to read the definition of an NFT. A non-fungible token is a non-interchangeable unit of data stored on a blockchain. If you don't know, blockchain has been around for a, quite a, quite a while. So, uh, educate yourself. So you have to be part of a blockchain to get NFT. Yeah. So it's a form of a digital ledger that can be sold and traded. Types of NFT data units may be associated with digital files such as photos, videos, and audio. Huh? I me dejó igual porque no entendí ni un fucking carajo what I just read, bro. Oh man! Like for you, educate yourselves in it. It's it's really it's brand new, and if you educate yourself in it, it's you know what happens. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick to company, cannabis. When you, when <laughs> you get into a cannabis. new company, when cannabis. Just became like law, like when it was legal and things like in that. In states, yes. The fucking shit went up. The mm -hmm. stocks, so it went up. It's the same thing. But only the people that are actually were invested in it and believed in it happening. But well, I mean, cannabis, cannabis is it's a little different because cannabis is actually you could touch it, you could smoke it, you could like this stuff is. We have a problem with. Um, I can't touch it. I can't feel it. Like, I, how is it money? Like, well, I let me need ask cash. you a question. Let me ask you a question. Why was Mona Lisa the picture? Worth so much. I have no idea why the it's fucking the same money. Fucking thing. I don't know why the. It's the same thing. Somebody you know, created it, made it uh, valuable for some reason because there was there's only one in existence. Or there's that one person I mean, who was a genius who painted it. Well, that's so, true. But so, very Puffy created a, a a a bad boy NFT. They're gonna think that shit is gonna be rare. Let me let me buy. Right. It's the same thing. People are gonna be skeptical about it because of the whole Bitcoin thing and the Doji coin and how Elon Musk manipulated. How everybody jumped on the Doji coin, right? And then if you pulled out at the right time, but it's like the stock market. You know, it's the same same concept. People that pulled out before he he said what he said on Twitter, and it shit dropped to like freaking less than a penny, and people lost their initial investment. It's not like people lost thousands of dollars. People basically lost whatever they put in. You know, so it's it's kind of... Uh, 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 nothing's guaranteed. No, obviously nothing is guaranteed, but I, I, I for, for me, when there's a currency that is dependent on the manipulation of others... Because there's no foundation yeah, to it. It's it's scary. It's a scary part. It's a scary but thing, stock yeah. the stock market is the same thing because I'm I'm reading a book by Tony Robbins called um 
I forget what the hell the name of the game is money or whatever. And I'm he was real tra- he's real transparent in, in his book about the stock market and how most of these four hundred one ks are built on mutual funds and they're you put your money because you trust the company that you work for or the four hundred one k company whoever is managing it. But for the most part. The, the 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 managers who are running these four hundred one ks are in it for the money. They're not in it for your benefit, you know. So you got to do your research just to you let you to. know on, on other things. But it's mutual funds are really the mutual fund managers are trying to outthink the stock market. Mm-hmm. And in the history of the stock market, only ten percent of the time do mutual fund managers actually outperform. The actual stock market. So it's you're you're putting your money in four hundred one k. You telling me that the stock market, who's been around for I don't know how many years, five hundred, four hundred, three, I don't know how many years. Somebody's got to fucking outsmart it. Oh no 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 no! I'm not talking about. I'm not talking the mutual funds it's that are happen, the though. managers. You got to trust they, somebody. They, there are some, but see that there's a difference, and this is a complete difference. There's a difference between stock market uh, mutual fund managers and fiduciaries, and there's a. Big, huge difference because fiduciaries have no gain, no skin in the game in regards to you investing your money. Yeah. They don't. They don't have mutual fund managers, and that's about 95% of everything from 401ks and all, and, and all these other things that they are going to steer most of this money into money into their pocket, while fiduciaries actually are going to do what's best for you because they have no skin in the game. At the end of the day, it takes money to make money. Oh, all the time. You know what I did? You got to take risks. I'm going to tell you some funny shit. You know what I did yesterday? I said, oh, I found this NFT. And I said, I'm going to put $20 in it and see what happens. This morning I woke up and I made $80. It takes money to make money. So you can pull out right now and have $80 in your pocket. $60 extra. Right. And had I had 100000 I could have made takes money to make oh yeah it's high risk high reward but you gotta you gotta be informed this is the game though you gotta be informed that's the whole thing but then the whole like i said with the whole doji coin like bitcoin's been around for a while and bitcoin is still here like doji coin came and it was a it was like a fad before you go further don't tell mia that i made an extra eight dollars oh okay because you know what she made extra sixty dollars she gonna you know you're going to have to use that for your Valentine's oh, gift. Oh, my Lord. That's the, the couple of that. Sasha said we have to teach her like she's five uh, She's five years old. I know. I Listen, I don't know a lot about it either. I'm just learning about it, but I'm getting myself informed because... YouTube teaches you everything. Absolutely. They sure do. YouTube teaches you everything. You got to be care. prepared. You got to be prepared for an opportunity. You're better off being prepared for an opportunity than having an opportunity and not being prepared. You can quote me. Thank you. I don't you're know welcome. what the fuck he said. <laughs> I followed none of that shit that he just said. I, I was lost when he said that, that. That's my coaching. My coaching um, freaking hat came on and all that. But yeah, so yeah, so NFTs, it got you. All right. So yeah, so the deal, the metaverse seems like it's fucking real. It's, it, let, let me tell you something. I've been in there. I've shot hoops sitting on my couch. I've <laughs> shot hoops. I've been to the club. I've heard new artists. I've heard so many. Snoop Dogg did a Anuel did a performance. That that it's just crazy. that that's what kills me. Like with the whole COVID thing, uh, and this is what I think this is one of the reasons why the metaverse was created the way it did, yeah. Because of the simple fact mm-hmm. that we're we're in this pandemic when we're not actually. I think this is going to just be part of our lives going forward. It's just the way we have to manage it, but. There are people out there looking to create, um, you know, they have ideas and they're looking to create this. And this is one thing where concerts, we evolved, for, we a, for a simple fact, like, I'm a big concert fan. I love going to concerts. And I haven't been to concerts in a couple of years. Like, it's killing me right now. And people still are leery of going to concerts because of the whole situation. This is an avenue where you can go enjoy a concert. Like, I need an Oculus, like, tomorrow to go watch, to see the cool, uh, the Foo Fighters perform. Like, I'm that much of a fan that I Because you ain't using mine. <laughs> I'm watching it. 
I'm going to watch the halftime uh, show and I'm going to watch the Foo Fighters. I was like, holy shit. Better like, take your ass to the GameStop. So it's it's crazy where, you know, you're going to have someone like me who's a big Foo Fighter fan and wants to be at a concert and that, that cures my fix. It cures my fix. I get to see them. I get to see them like I'm the first person right in front row where, where I'm always at anyway. And that's, I'm always and that's the thing front. about a lot of people don't understand. Like, they'd be like, okay, so you're in the crowd and you're watching the show. No. I, we were watching the game like we were on the yeah, floor. Yeah, it's a completely like, crazy experience. Like, like I was Jay-Z and he was Beyonce. Wow. Because I, I can shake I, my booty I'm like that. Yes. That. Uh, I don't know if he can shake his booty. Who was who I was ain't gonna be Beyonce? So, uh, but we were on the floor, like we were. Yeah, and, and it's, it's super dope. It's so crazy. I'm, 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 I'm excited. The to game's see on that. I was what actually the real, gonna look like. I was a real Jedi on that because I played that and I was a, I was a Jedi and I'm yeah. like, whoom, my whoom. daughter, my daughter goes on there and she boxes, and then I just found out you can put this on a bat. On a what? On a bat? On a bat. Okay, like the Wii. The, you know, the Wii basically created this yeah, format, but, but, but the they, Wii, that's, that's an elevated format. This that's shit a, that's on another will give level. you a picture like Petro Martinez. Whatever Petro Martinez throws, that's what you're going to hit. Yeah. That's super dope. I've, I put on that, my neighbor, when I was in New York, my neighbor was like, you got to come over. She called me. Like, you got to come here. Her son had it. I said Petro. That's Pedro. 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 And... She, yo, they put me on, and they put on, you gotta do this. So, so for you guys that don't know, so you put on the Oculus, and the Oculus tells you there's a designated area, which is like your, your, your zone. The area, the guardian area. Yeah, it's your zone. So, knows to me, I didn't know <laughs> that I should have been doing this sitting down. I was standing up. And they put me on a roller coaster ride. First of all, I don't like fucking roller coasters in real life. Either. Um, but I did it in a fucking metaverse, right? In a metaverse, in not a metaverse. 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 Thank, thank you, Mia. Thank you. And um, holy fucking shit, I felt like I was. I felt like oh, I fell off the roller coaster like ten hundred times. You ever saw those videos? I was. I. I and physically, like they wanted to record Hilarious. me because physically, my body was reacting to exactly what my eyes were seeing. Those impulses and messages were going to my brain, and my body was reacting, and I was shit out of fucking luck because I fell off that fucking... I'm like, I'm never fucking doing this again. <laughs> I was dizzy as fuck. Get me some water. I had to sit down. I saw call dude, the EMS. I saw a dude in the middle of the mall. You know, they did this when it first came out. They, they, they put it... You know when you go to the mall, you got the stores. And then you walk in and all that. Like, you're in the middle of that aisle and everybody walks in and the door. And there's a guy. He's sitting there with the, with the freaking Oculus on. And he's on a roller coaster. But they stepped it up or further. They put you in the seat that follows that roller coaster. He was screaming. High pitch. I, can, I, I, I know. I can, I can oh, talk about my experience. My Wait, Sasa, so like, you have one and don't use it? Um, can you can you mail it to me? <laughs> I'm just can you're you not gonna get it on time. Can you overnight that shit to me right now? Like I'll be here. I love you forever. I'll be your Valentine's every single day if you overnight it to me right oh now. Oh god. You're not you're not gonna get it on time. Holy shit, look, those virtual reality right. Lord, Lord, you have like that they, they are they are some shit, bro. Like it's better than actually going to Great Adventures. If you don't have one, a lot cheaper. Stop being an old bastard and go get one. Yeah. Like you have to get one for your own better because we have kids. We have grand. We're gonna have grandkids for some of us. I have three already. I have three. Grandkids. And that and and they're gonna create more on this than anything. So you need to. Oh, it's it's definitely yourself it's it. definitely the future. How it's gonna? I mean, in our lifetimes, we're not gonna see how this whole. Technology evolves, but I'm pretty Where's sure. The game? Oh my, my bad! Don't yell at me, bro. I want to see LeBron shit his pants. So there's What's... a Laker game today. There's UFC pay per view today. Yeah, I got a couple topics. We didn't even talk about. So go, 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 shoot. Okay. Well, go ahead, well, bro. You know, we we talked about the metaverse. All right, I want to talk about. God damn, how people. Sasha, I don't love you forever yet. Not yet. You gotta mail that in overnight. You gotta mail that in overnight. You gotta mail me that Oculus and then we'll talk. So, according to XXL Magazine, okay, Snoop Dogg 
made a massive he made massive headlines when he bought Death Row Records, right? He bought them recently on Wednesday, February 9th. Mm-hmm. On the same day, he was. I'm gonna read this. Same day or the following day? It was. I thought. I thought it was the following day. Okay. I'm gonna read this. A woman who has only been identified as Jane Doe is suing Snoop Dogg and his longtime friend Bishop Don Juan. Everybody knows who's Don Juan. Wait. Bishop Don Juan, you know who Do- Bishop Don Juan is. Pimp Daddy. These are pimp of pimps. A sexual assault and battery, according to a court. A court document obtained by Hollywood Life. The woman who claims she used to she used to work for she used to work as a stage dancer for Snoop Dogg and Don Juan claimed that the incident in her lawsuit took place in 2013. We are in 21. I have two. I have no words for that shit. Okay. She filed a complaint on February 9th, 2022. Just four days before Snoop Dogg was set to take the big stage at Super Bowl, but at the same day that he bought Death Row Records. Orchestrated much? Bro, that's... Talk if, about conspiracy? Yeah, that's not, nah, that's not even conspiracy. That's fucking thought out and planned out. Who planned it? That's, pre, uh, that's the question. That's absolutely 100% premeditated. 2013, right? We're in 2020, we're in 2022. You had to think about that? Yeah, I had to like think I about just it. Did, yeah. I had to think about it. That's what, nine years? Ten mm-hmm. years? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. You're coming up. And listen. Nine years. Don't get me wrong uh, about the whole Me Too movement and all this. But let's be real. You got to be s- skeptical when it takes a person ten years to come up with this. And then all these things align. Like, all of a sudden, he, he buys Death Row Records. I'm pretty sure he did not buy it by himself. I'm pretty sure there's always investors in there. But, obviously, he is... I don't, I don't know the backstory. Yeah, but most, right. most of the, most right. of the time, there's investors. It's always a group. There's When you hear someone buy, like, you you, you heard Jennifer Lopez bought uh, on the Miami... And Mark Anthony bought the Miami Marlins. They didn't buy it. A group, including... Jennifer Lopez, they bought shares it. you know, they, they bought. So it's it's a conglomerate all the time. So, but they're, obviously it's going to get traction if Snoop Dogg is the headliner. So he he buys, his or his group buys it, he that's backing him, buys it, and buys it in the morning. It gets announced. Now, obviously, there are people that know this, right? Mm-hmm. And then later in the evening, when you're about to eat dinner, and, or he about to he about to roll up. Uh, uh, yeah, they show pictures of him celebrating that. Yeah, he like, like, he's, he, he's, like he's he's going crazy. He's, he's ready. Like, yeah. He's really smoking and joint. If you know music, you know who Death Row Records are. Yeah, if it, yeah, it's, Tupac, it's, it's, it's Shug not Knight. it's not a it's not chump change obviously mm-hmm. to get all the to to get that whole label and masters and all that other stuff. So he's sitting down. He ready to smoke a joint and all this and celebrate, drink a Corona with Bad Bunny Snoop and all this. Doesn't shit. smoke joints. Oh, he smokes what he smokes. He splits. That thing. He smokes that thing. So he didn't say what Snoop He's smoking. smoking that thing with Bad Bunny on a beach, ready to celebrate. With a Corona. With a Corona, and we're all not, of a sudden you got... We're not sponsored by Corona, by the way. You got, you got Chopper. We're sponsored by Modelo. <laughs> so we got... We're, we're, you got Choppers coming down, and, and you got law enforcement invading the beach while he's in a beach chair. I'm like, what's happening, player? I can just picture him saying... What's happening, player? Come on, that's orchestrated. That's planned out to the T. Come on, it's a money grab. Oh, okay, you buy it, you got money, it's official. Here's something to support what you're saying. Fuck out of here. It's not a criminal charge. It's a civil suit. Right, it's a civil suit right now. It's a money grab. It's always a money grab. Okay, the ink is not even dry, but all of a sudden his, his, his worth increased tenfold, for example. Now... If I had done it before he signed, he bought Death Row, I get this amount of money. Now he he's owner of Death Row, I'm going to get this amount of money now. Come on. That's some shady, disgusting shit. Listen. That's listen. why the next woman, not- the next woman, the woman that I marry, I said what I said, we signing a prenup. Okay. 
I'm, listen, listen. I'm not signing you not, up. You not, you, it's too late for your ass. You I'm not done. taking my jewels behind. And it's okay. As long as my daughter gets what she deserves, I'm fine with that. My kids but, get all my shit. Fuck but that. at the end of the day, my my thing is this. That's disgusting. If he, if allegedly they did that, yeah, let's let, let's talk about if it did happen. How yeah. do you how do you continue with a civil suit if they wasn't prosecuted in a criminal suit? This is where Mia is missed. Yeah, but the thing is, is there's no evidence. Like you, you can't. It, it, this is the thing. When it and this is as much as I've learned with her. You can allege a lot of things. You can allege almost everything and anything. In this world, I've been, I alleged, I've been alleged. You know, alleged. so proving it is a different story. So if you're talking about something that happened over ten years ago, a decade ago, and you have to prove that it happened, that's much. Di- it's very, it's very difficult. Now, a civil suit, you don't have to prove guilt. In a civil suit, you have to sh- show. That there was some type of damage. Some type of definition. Mental, physical, and that's much easier to present in a court of law. And that's why a lot of civil suits go in. And she made, we spoke about this yesterday, and she gave a perfect example. O.J. Simpson Mm -hmm. was found not guilty of killing his wife and her lover, but was proven guilty... In a civil civil suit. suit. Mm -hmm. Big difference. So, while he was not guilty in the death, he was guilty of some type of damages to the families of the victims. So, it's different. It's it's much easier, I see. I still don't like the timeline of this. Well, I know. it's, But, again, it's orchestrated. It has to be orchestrated perfectly for that. I'm pretty sure she spoke to a lawyer and everything was like, listen... We can't, he waited. He we, knew. Can't, we can't prove this in court of law that he did this and they this all this transpired. There isn't evidence. It's a crapshoot. And by but no if means this is against any woman. Like if if somebody did some shit to you, please address it at the point. Like, and and, and don't not wait even to that. fucking and I, this shit happened in 2013, according to Double XL. But there isn't a t- listen when it comes to something like that. There really isn't a time frame. It's we're being cynical about. I, no, uh, yeah, yeah. no, I I'm being real about. No, it. I, I, if somebody if somebody did something to you, handle that shit. It, yeah, it, I mean it. it that, and that I understand that would rape, be that, you know, things like, I understand that would that. be the best scenario. But unfortunately, when it comes to things of that nature, it just doesn't work out because the emotional and yeah, mental you gotta deal damage. With that. Yeah, I get it. It mm-hmm. it it, 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 t- it could take days, weeks, months, years, and that's understandable completely. Um, and it's very difficult to to be in a person's shoes that's been through something like that, and it's 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 gut wrenching. It's it's disheartening. Um, you know, and, and and for those who get away with it, you're pieces of shit. Um, for I dealt with that. Um, taking advantage of people that are vulnerable. Um, but that being said, yes, you know, you can also look at it at the flip side. Well, it took you ten years to do that, but it took a lot of. She probably let's let's say this. This is a scenario. She finally got the courage, right, to speak up on it to whoever it was. So she spoke to a lawyer about But that it. person controls when that information goes so out. So if she spoke to a lawyer, the lawyer, like me and you were talking about it, gave her A, B, C, and D. This is exactly what it is. Listen, I understand. It's, it's, it's a shame that you went through that. Yet, it is 10 years. If you take it to a court of law and you're looking at a jury of your peers, it's going to be goddamn hard for me after 10 years and all this evidence that is just circumstantial and we got to look for it for me to prove it. But what? in a civil suit, I don't have to prove A, B, and C. All I have to do is D. Yeah, but that's a law. And, and yeah, but I'm that's saying that's... So let's go with D. You know what I'm saying? Let's go with D. Let's get something out of it. And then we're living in an age where you are proving... 
you are you are now more proving guilty. You are guilty before you're innocent. Now, because That's of social media. That's a fact. Because I can say something about you tomorrow. I can post something about Big Face Music World tomorrow, and there'll be people that listen to it, and all of a sudden believe it. With with me not having to actually provide any proof whatsoever, which is fucked up. Because just the fact that you had the strength of to say it, yeah, like it just you can ruin somebody's. Well, Cardi B just went through that talking to someone saying that she was giving herpes and all that, and she had to go to court, and it was proven oh, and that she, she won. did, and she, she won. won. She won. But say it took that whole year that people. Now you had say you had a million fans out of those a uh, million fans, a hundred thousand people believe this other chick. Yeah, you just lost a hundred thousand people that are looking at you differently. With no proof, and that's a big difference. And that's and that's nine hundred thousand compared to and a that's million. Just, yeah, that's a, that's a small amount. But just imagine the effect. This person by posting this one thing changed the minds of one hundred thousand people like this, without no proof. And that's why civil suits are much easier to win, and actually can cause more damage. Because imagine if he if this woman wins her um, civil suit, right, and. There was no if she wins. It doesn't mean that they was, did it or or yeah, anything. Yeah, but in the eyes but of people, the defamation may yeah. Be, yeah. Now all of a sudden, in, now it's it's no longer about being found guilty or innocent. It's about how people perceive you. Right. I, I and, and I that's crazy. It. Well, it's listen, crazy. Good luck to them. Ooh, two chicks are fighting. That's the best fights in UFC when the women fight. Great. But they, use, the they use tactics. They use oh, they, skill. They, like, go, they go all out. Like, men they, use brute. Like, I, I get it. Sometimes. Sometimes. But they, they go all out. They got heart. I tell you this much. They got more heart than most than most of the, the men. Thank God so, I looked at the women because I saw we had ice in here. Yeah, we got ice, Bobby. We got ice. We got ice. You heard that? We got ice. So, yeah. So, all right. So, we went through the Snoop Dogg thing. You got some something in your nose? Oh, what the fuck is going on with fucking the shortage of chicken wings? That happened again. Talking about fucking in the Florida. Super Bowl. In like, Florida. What the fuck? Not Florida. Yeah. Everywhere. Like, no, they just... said the main place that eats chicken wings is I'm going back to fucking Florida. New York. I'm going back to New York. That's it. I'm going back to New York. So we I, want my, I want my Super fucking Bowl, chicken wings. Super Bowl weekend, they said Florida eats the most chicken wings and we're there's a, big a shortage fuck, of we're, chicken We're a big wings. fucking state, bro. I don't know. But I don't, this is the fuck, like... So, if you don't know, like, ritual here in the Malabe house during football season, um, now that we have we have now the podcast on Sundays, but before before the podcast comes on, him and I, um, I usually come over, we either grill, usually, you know, grill, and, you know, chicken, and I, I don't eat beef. For the most part, I usually eat chicken and fish. I've, I've eliminated beef from my I eat all that beef. He eats all that I shit. I eat everything. So I buy beef for people that come over and they have beef. So tradition comes on Sunday, even before COVID. Come in, we cook on the grill, we got a fucking... He comes with this big-ass <laughs> bowl with a thousand pieces of chicken. Yeah, I, I one, one day... What one, the fuck? One day I looked under, I'm like... Yo, this, where the fuck did this big ass bowl come from? It's only from? me, him, Mia, and her parents. But no, but you yeah, Nina. but that's during COVID. Like before COVID, there before was a lot COVID, of there was a lot of we, we Sunday, 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 Sundays, Sundays yeah. used to come. We had here. a lot of parties. So I'm still in that. I'm I'm like a Puerto Rican mode where you cook rice for like 20 people and there's only three people in the house. So, you know, you Puerto Ricans know. So, <laughs> um, so I wow. we used to come with I used to come with chicken and meat and so forth and so on. So sometime. September during the football season, I can't find fucking chicken wings. This is what boggles me, right? I can't find chicken wings. And I come, I come to his house. I'm like, yo, I can't find fucking chicken wings. What the fuck is I going on? Bullshit. And it, yeah, I'm like, yo, there's no chicken wings. So I'm reading about it. But this is the shit. I can find chicken breasts, chicken thighs. So what's happening with the rest of the chicken? Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. What the fuck? What happened to the chicken wings? Like, you need chicken to have chicken breasts, chicken thighs, but no chicken wings? What the fuck are you doing with the chicken wings? It's, it's, and there's two of those, and there's two fucking thighs, two legs, Yeah, so like, but you don't have chicken wings. I don't wings. understand that. And logistics, and 
um, problems with the, the supply <laughs> chain and well, all the this chicken shit. chicken wings went that way and the legs went that yeah, way. Yeah, like, so like wait, you lost the chicken you wings. You killed the chicken wing and you dumped the chicken wings to create a chaos? That's like, because the chicken wings are the are the most popular of the chicken part, especially during sports season. Chicken wings all the time, you know what I'm saying? But th- I was I was dumbfounded. And the shit is, like, I could buy 12-pack of fucking chicken... Uh, I don't even say mulo in fucking Spanish, like chicken. Sorry, sorry. Oh, drumsticks, drumsticks. Drumstick. There were drumsticks available. I could buy... You have to think about that? Yeah, I did. I just caught a fucking brain fart right now. So, I was able to get a bag. No lie, a bag of drumsticks. I paid like four dollars. They must have been like twenty in there. I don't know if they were chicken. And well, we never. Well, if they taste like chicken, they taste like chicken. If we all eat Chinese food, stop complaining about fucking chicken. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ate Chinese food, I'm pretty sure you didn't eat chicken all the time. Just saying. Just saying. You know no, no, Thank you for coming on Instagram. I don't want to think, think about it either. That. So, yo, three dollars for like a bag. I go and buy some chicken wings. Six. Those shits were good, though. You did your thing with that. $12 for six. So stop thinking about the 20 and think about the 80. The, you did your thing <laughs> with those. That was fucking chicken wings. You did some, did. He did that. What's that, chef? He did one of those. Yo. I, you I, did I, them on the grill. I, those shits was amazing. I love to grill. Those things oh, were amazing. Long. We're not going to grill tomorrow, though. No, not tomorrow. Please. We're going to go We're gonna go to Super Bowl somewhere. So. All right. But so, that's some shit. And now all of a sudden, there's a chicken wing shortage again. Mm-hmm. Right in time for Super Bowl? Get the fuck out of here with that fucking shit. Talk about conspiracy. They say got fucking Floridians. That's some stop eating bullshit. chicken wings. How is it that only Florida are the only ones that have a fucking chicken wing shortage? What the hell are you doing with the rest of the fucking chickens? Because New York, the New York want to eat thighs and breasts. Well, in New York, you can't eat anything in New York. Oh, <laughs> because God. you have to have... 15 vaccines and, uh, and a book of, 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 of proof. That's to, another to, to, topic. <laughs> That's another topic. I feel for you, New York. I feel for you, but I'm here. Uh, uh, look, Super Mega Prison, yeah, focus on the 80. Bro, chicken wings are the 80. 80. Actually, they're about 60 because the drumsticks are about another 20, and then the breast is the other 20. So uh, the, the chicken wings are the 60, mama. Sorry. It does right. not happen almost every year. Every year I cook fucking chicken wings. And never in my puta life has there been a chicken wing shortage until this bullshit pandemic. Yeah, that's true. That's some crap. I'm Is sorry to say. It's a conspiracy? All right. It's a conspiracy. All right, we're not going to go into this conspiracy thing. All right, let's go but to the I'm next a, thing. I'm upset. I, I wanna, I, all right, don't be so mad about fucking chicken. Chicken wings. Oh, chicken Jesus. wings. All right, let's go. French fries and chicken wings. We talk, we talk about, about the ketchup. We talk about football. We talk about everything I else. I need to take a, Sasha says I need to take a deep breath. All right. Let me go. I'm let me, sorry, ladies. Let me take a shot. Ladies might not be. I'm the, passionate. The ladies that we have on the show, they might not be so versed in. in. You really drink from the fucking straw of that sippy cup? Yeah. I've been dodging this shit. I don't trust the straw. This guy. He sucks. Pause. Pause. From the straw. <laughs> anyway. Sheesh. So, Woo. all right. So, let's go again. I'm, I'm I'm trying to be, I'm trying to balance the scales. Okay. Like my wife mm-hmm. in law, the scales. He, I want to go into another topic. By the way, we've done all my topics that I want. Okay. I good, did good. none of my to- I mean, one and two. One and two. One, two. one and two of the topics. That's some bullshit right there, bro. Okay. Because I'm from New York. Where are you from? New York. You from New York? New York. Yeah, that accent came out. So. <laughs> no, you ain't from New York. I'm a Nick fan. No, no, no. You're not from New York. Where are you from? Brooklyn. Yeah, but where in Brooklyn? Brownsville. That's right. Okay. I, with that given, I, 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 want to talk, I want to talk about something that. It fucking hurts me. Okay, I'm a New York fan at the end of the day. I love the New York Knicks. As a kid, I was always a New York Knicks fan. I was always a Giants fan. I'm not a New York Knicks fan. I, I don't care who you're a fan of. I'm talking about me. That's disrespectful, but okay. Uh, <laughs> but I'm a Knicks fan, by the way. I helped open the Barclay Center because I was there for the process. Oh, did I say that? I like the process. Mm. I was there for the process. I opened up Barclays Center as one of the heads of security for it. And I loved it. It was the best. I was there part of the seventh day when Jay-Z 
perform. I was so tired of seeing it. But I love Jay-Z. He was my number one. So, James Harden was traded for Ben Simmons. How you feel about that? I love it. Why? You got to give context, bro. No, no, no. You no, got to no, give no, context. No, no, no. I'm you sorry, ladies. We went into basketball. Sorry. sorry. You got to no. give context. You got to evaluate the trade. You're talking to a coach here. You got to okay. evaluate the trade. Okay. Let's talk about it. Well, first of all, let's, just, let's speak about the two major characters. Ben Simmons played for the Philadelphia 76ers, mm -hmm. our neighboring state. Mm -hmm. Ben Simmons has some mental issues. It's apparent. What? He has mental issues. How you know he has mental issues? Because he didn't want to... He was at his fucking therapy session? He, no, he disclosed it. He disclosed it. Did he? he? Yes, yes, Okay, yes. go ahead then. He has, he has some issues. Remember, he didn't want to participate. <laughs> he said he wanted to was be Was it mental though, no, or was it just he said he was, everybody he was He said doing? he wasn't in a mental state to play basketball right now. In okay. the beginning of the season. He like just, Kyrie Irving. Uh, yes. Yeah. He's okay. another one that has mental issues. Okay, but we're talking about Ben right, Simmons. So ben Simmons... <coughs> excuse me. Great young player. Um, can't shoot the ball from the outside for it for the life, if his life depended on. Unless he's in practice, I don't know how. I've he's seen in him in practice. This fucking guy hits every shot. Yeah. Okay. So he's not great under pressure. So if he's getting deep, he got he can't do shit. So we have him, but he is every other aspect of his game is phenomenal. If he can only shoot, so we have him. He's one of the he's the key player on the Philadelphia Seventy Sixers. He's disgruntled. Hasn't really played with the Sixers and has been a complete detriment to that to that team. So he's going to Brooklyn. So he's going to Brooklyn, um, and he gets traded for James Harden, who I think is another problem. He's the fucking out. same thing. He's the opposite of Ben Simmons. He's, he's, he can shoot from the outside, but doesn't play defense. And he's oh, not, not gonna, he doesn't, doesn't play defense is his only thing. But he can drive to the basket, he can dish, and he can shoot. He just doesn't play any defense. Oh, excuse me. So. <coughs> in hindsight, in hindsight, the fucking. I need it. I, I feel like. I'm there you go. See, I think you're two and I'm one. Fish. Yeah. One, two. See? There you go, Papa. There you go. So. I need a beer. Somewhere. Yeah, make that, make that two. Somewhere. And I get it. Ben Simmons doesn't shoot. James Harden, Harden shoots, play, does, James he Harden doesn't, doesn't play defense, defense, and I get it. So, who's the winner of this trade? And I'm going to say, I'm going to say Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm not, it's not because I'm biased and I'm wearing a Yankee fitted. I'm just saying that. But you got you to gotta see, you got you to gotta explain the rest of the trade. The, the the James Harden and somebody else went to 76ers. Thank you, sir. Brooklyn, cheers. Brooklyn got Ben Simmons, uh, a couple of other players, and two first round draft picks. James Harden did not fit with Brooklyn wanted to create what Miami did years ago with Bosch, Wade, and LeBron, right? Mm -hmm. They want they got Durant. Harden and Kyrie, so they wanted to recreate whatever it is. First and of all, Sasha, it. why you want to have me as wine? Sasha, if you ever get your ass to Florida, you can have some wine. Stop, Great. Making, stop bitching. Brooklyn, we up, right? Brooklyn, right? Pretty boys in the house. Um, I am Zeta. Uh, join the Instagram. All my, all our Instagram what followers. What about Drummond, you. Ray? Talk to me about Drummond, Ray. Post that. Oh, right? they got Drummond. That's right. They got, Who got Drummond. The Brooklyn got Drummond. What Drummond? Andre Drummond. Drummond. We in the game. All right seven now. foot drum. And they we got Curry. In the game right now. I mean, he's not Steph. He's not Stephen Curry. But he's a problem. Oh, man. he's he can shoot. Listen, he can shoot. I think. And two round two first and round. I, round I, I think. And there's and and there's of Hard course. Up. This is what makes sports. There's there's the there's the conversation, right? Okay, we got all these picks in Brooklyn. And I get it, and I get it. Because they gave a lot when they started creating games. But let's not act like it. Philadelphia didn't, because Philadelphia dynamics, uh, the beard fits in that Oh, dynamic. yeah, him and Embiid are going to be great. They fit in that dynamic. So I think that next year, the NBA is going to be great. Yeah. 
What the hell is this? Well, let's talk about Brooklyn. We, let's, forget about the NBA. We're talking about Brooklyn. Brooklyn the East made Coast. Out. Brooklyn made out. Because the East Coast wasn't shit this year. I'm sorry to tell you. No, what are you talking about? You still got Milwaukee, Miami's, Miami's great. What the hell are you talking about, bro? I don't understand. Do I live in Milwaukee? It don't matter. You, you got, got, you got Home Depot. You got Home Listen. Depot okay. in Milwaukee. He's great. He is great. He can't shoot for shit, but he's, he's gotten better. Yes. Ben Simmons has not wanted to put in the work according to others that he the, that um that's why he can't shoot. Well, but what? Ben Simmons fits now way better than Harden because Ben yes. Simmons is I agree. A, ben Simmons is a defensive stopper. I think they're going to be a championship he, team. He's long and lanky. Yes. So for those so for example, if Brooklyn played the Lakers, right? Who's defending who's defending LeBron? Or AD without Nobody cares. No, no, listen. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm gonna tell the truth about. No, no, but listen. I'm, no, but I'm gonna we're give basketball. We're, we're gonna, LeBron is great. Let's no, but I'm talking about matchup. But this I care. No, I understand. But he's this, not gonna score 103. You know where I'm going with this. I'm coaching. I have analytics. I'm breaking shit down. If the Lakers played Brooklyn, right, which could be a possibility. And let's get a couple things straight. I'm a coach too. Yeah, he's talking coach. basketball. Is coach, That's yeah. my this is my number one thing. <laughs> Lorraine says serious question. Who's in the Super Bowl? Lorraine, you are. You are. Wow. Happy birthday, you Lorraine. Happy, happy Bowl, belated. Lorraine. So, Lorraine, happy belated birthday. I hope you had an amazing time. Sorry we couldn't join you, but Lorraine, we'll, who you got in, we'll celebrate another Vegas. time. Lorraine. How old you turn, Lorraine? <laughs> Whoa, you never asked a woman their age. Hey, listen. But that's, that's low. That's low. That's, that's low. not a woman. I know. That's that's, that's low. Woman. That's low. That's low. That's so, low. All right. But check this out. So if we're gonna if we're gonna have a scenario, the Lakers play Brooklyn as they are now. I mean before, right before the trade, Durant would be on AD or LeBron. That's a problem for Brooklyn because. Yeah, because he got to occupy his yeah, time. Yeah, you know, so, but now he gets on the offensive side. But it. now. You have Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons now can take one of them. And, and, and then he opens up KD now. He doesn't have to exert as much effort. This is why I said I think Brooklyn next year is going to be... I think they can make some noise this year. What do you mean? No. Why not? Because of the stupid pandemic shit. At the end of the day, you got to deal with Kyrie. Kyrie is in and out the league. Well, he's in and out of the home games. That's, that's it. The, that's the league. That's it. No, that's it's not the league. He just can't play in the home game. Listen, that's the league. You, he's in and out. So he's only he's only so in when they're away and he's out so when they're home. So it behooves Brooklyn not to ever have home home court advantage because that way Brook that way he can play okay. home four out of three. But they're not in first place, so they lost home for home place. So that's advantage. great. So that means he gets to, in a, in a seven game series. He plays four out of the seven. In a five game series, he plays three out of the two. Goes and comes to it. But that's what I'm saying. So they so, got to capitalize on this. That's right. So you have they have to win all three games. They have to win every single game on the road, yeah. which is hard. But if the mayor, the new mayor of New York, decides to change that, you know. We'll I, I hate the fact that the mayor is going to contradict the NBA. I, I, no, the M, it's not the I mean, NBA's rule. But predict. No, it's not. Well, he, he would affect it. You know what I'm saying? By that. Mama, there's only three cities. That are affected by this. You got Golden State. Mm -hmm. You have Los Angeles. Let me ask you a question. And you have when, Brooklyn. When Kyrie went to Golden State, did he play? Not in Golden State. Mm -hmm. Actually, he did. He was able to play. Hey, hey, where I'm going? So, okay. Where I'm going? Yeah. So he, the only time he can't play is Fuck in Brooklyn. Me. Anyway. So Brooklyn can't have home right. field advantage. I'm not, I, I hate. Well, I don't even want to talk about that part. Well, Brooklyn did win this. Win this. So. 100%. Charles, have a Charles Barkley commented on LeBron James not being important to the NBA and why MJ is better than him. Wait, did he say he's not important to the NBA? Yes. Those were his words? Yes. Wow. Well, you got to look at what he's talking about. What is he talking about? And his time frame. He said, and I quote, I just think it's lazy debate. Last year, when the last dance... When the last thing, when the last dance thing came out, I was telling myself. We're talking about the Michael Jordan. Yes. Um, 
a biopic. On I was telling myself, holy shit, they almost killed Michael Jordan back then. And then to see the way the game is played today, it's a kiss on the cheek. Is a, a kiss on the cheek is a foul. So why are they comparing Michael Jordan to LeBron James? Well, first of all, they play two different positions. They play in two in you play in we they play in two different eras. But because LeBron James is the king and obviously he is the iconic player in this era of basketball. I love you, Lorraine. Fifty and proud. Fifty and proud. Welcome to the club. Muchacha. I, uh, not me. No, not you. You're, you're, you're a baby. Mucha, you're, a baby. I still you're, still wear in, you're still in high school. Bro. I wear diapers. No player that is playing in this era of basketball would have survived the 80s. Come 90s. on, bro. No. You're giving name the me a whole player. NBA name me a no player. credit no. for name, being tough? No. Name me. There is very few. Name me a player right now. And let me not say no player, but I'm pretty sure I can. You can only give me enough names that can fit one hand only that would be able to survive and thrive in the 80s and 90s. First of all, first of all, it's not all the players' fault. The rules have changed. Yeah, you got to the NBA, that. the NBA, no hand check. There was no hand. There's no hand checking anymore. Back in the back in the in the 80s and 90s, you what? were able to hand check. You were able to put a four okay, on somebody's back. Okay, but whose fault is that? That's not, not, that's that's not your not generation's play. fault. That's my generation's fault. No, it's fault. not. Nobody you know that's why? the NBA's fault. No, I'm going to tell you why. Mm. Because we accelerated. We no, got... the NBA wanted... Let me finish. Let me finish, old timer. I thought you were going to call me Mia. Let me finish. <laughs> no, not you. for this. Kobe. What about Kobe? LeBron. We're talking about players who never went to... No, Kobe. no, 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 no. Co- yeah, but that Kevin Garnett did it. But Kobe and Kevin Garnett was one of the toughest players in the but, league. Yeah, but Kobe, Kobe and Garnett came before LeBron. Okay, but that's your time. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm saying. About, you, you mentioned Kevin. I mentioned Kobe and LeBron. Kobe, that's comes, my time. Kobe come no, but Kobe came before LeBron. Kobe, okay. Kobe played but in Kobe that era. Kobe was one of the first that came in at 18 years old. Oh yeah, right when Kobe came in at 18 years old. He was with who? The Lakers. No. He was with fucking Michael Jordan. My, I don't care what team he's on. Michael, if you look at all those videos, Michael Jordan fucking taught him lessons. Mike. Did you see the video? Did you mm-hmm. see the video? LeBron walks by and he says some shit and Michael Jordan just gave him a check. Did you see that? I don't even acknowledge you. Here's a check. Yeah, but LeBron came when Kobe, when when LeBron when Jordan was already he was he wasn't in his prime he was already done you know what I'm saying yeah, but, but my question was in this era and let's use your era because Kobe's really not in your era you caught Kobe he was already established what do you mean okay let me let me you got when did Kobe get signed I can't remember Kobe was in the nineties okay LeBron was in the high school in the nineties I, I watched where Kobe yeah, came in but. The new era of basketball is the millennials, 2000 and up, right? So, right. name me a player, and let's, let's do this. Name me a player after LeBron came into the league that can could play in the era of the 80s or the 90s with the bad boys of Detroit, where with the Boston Celtics, with the big three of Bird, McHale, Parrish, with the Lakers, with, um, with Houston, with Akeem and Drexler. I'm going to say one thing. I'm going to say one thing. Before I say it, I'm going to tell Lorraine one thing. I am young. I am young. First of all, your friend... NBA's bitches, yes. Your friend... Now they are. When I was in elementary, graduated from high school. Oh, That's boy. That's how young I am. We, got this, we already got this story like 300 times. Anyway, we got that. We got that. Back got to that. his question. My question is, I, tell me... Tell me a player right now, right now, that, with, that can then, if you transplant... With my knowledge, the, the, You can transplant them into the 80s and I'm 90s gonna, and I'm thrive. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. And I'm not saying he's tough. By no means am I saying that he's tough. But I'm saying that he would still be a problem. Who? Steph Curry. I'm not saying he's tough. But here's the thing. What I'm saying is, is that he can adjust... That's how he became one of the best dribblers. That's how he became shooting from the outside. So you're telling me 
that Steph Curry wouldn't be been able to adjust. Steph Curry adjusted to the shit that was going on. Well, Seth, I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that he wouldn't thrive because what Steph Curry brings to the game. Thrive. Well, what brings see he wouldn't thrive in the eighties because the three point shot wasn't as he. But that's the thing; it wasn't when he came in either. No, no he yes, made it, it possible. No, three point shot was already relevant. No, in that. he took it to a whole nother level. Okay, he took it to a this whole is my level. point. But when what Barkley was referring to is was toughness, and what Barkley yeah, was, yeah, yeah. his perspe- okay. his perspective was my about ball, toughness. Barkley Barkley played power forward when he's like six four. And and average 20, 20. First 20, of all, 20 points and 20 rebounds. First of all, they didn't say that again. 20, 20. Who did that? Barkley. No, he didn't. Bro. I, you, listen, I you, love the NBA and I love the Knicks. Barkley didn't give me 20, 20. Average. Bro. If when you, I was a Knicks fan, when he died like, a heart. Barkley never gave you me had, twenty you had, a, you had a you had a player on the Knicks who also did the same thing. I might be exaggerating twenty twenty. Okay, but you had Charles Oakley. Okay, who was also, and you had Mason also, who also took that. That doesn't give the excuse because the Chicago Bulls only had Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, and Michael Jordan. Okay, Cartwright and Sally. But they didn't. They didn't produce double digits every game. No, Robin did. Okay, that's my right. point. But no. So but, why the fuck is Charles Barkley even a conversation right now? Well, Charles Barkley can talk about so being Robin tough. So Robin is not 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 there to talk about being tough because why? Because no, he, but Barkley he married himself. He was half woman, <laughs> half man. Barkley, fuck out of here. Yeah, but Barkley was okay. But listen, Barkley's statement was toward LeBron, and because LeBron represents this era. He was saying that the players nowadays, with some exceptions, would not last in the 80s and 90s. And I completely agree with him. Because I'm sorry to say, and LeBron, because he's a physical specimen, because of his physical makeup, he's would, a machine. he would thrive. He's a Terminator. He would thrive in that. I don't think he would I've be... I've seen the whole open for pause. But I don't I don't think... I've he, seen the whole open for him like OBT. And if you don't right. live in Florida, yeah, but, you don't know who OBT, <laughs> OBT is. is. OBT is the strip. But, I tell you this. Knowing LeBron's mindset and what I see where he kind of stays away from contact at times or from pressure shots, if he... You put him... Michael Jordan didn't do that. No, none of these players did. But if you... If LeBron played in the era, and let's let's take say if LeBron played, um, with the Bulls, right? He played with Jordan, right? And they faced the Detroit Pistons. Where understand before Rodman went to Chicago, Detroit had the front line of Bill Lambeer, John Sally, and Dennis oh, Rodman. Uh huh. Was I born when Lambeer yeah. was playing? When I tell you. Lambeer had no respect for anybody because I've seen Lambeer live on television take Michael Jordan and toss him like a rag doll. Now, I tell you this much. If LeBron was on that team and would go down that hole... This is about you Justin. Can, Michael no, Jordan no, no, adjusted no, 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 no. I, Yes, he did. He, yes, he did. But he had heart. And that's something that most players don't have. But should, should Charles Barkley Charles exclude Bar- his heart because he's not in that situation. So if if, if Lambeer was to throw LeBron around like he did Michael Oh, Bell, LeBron. What do you think is going to happen? LeBron, if LeBron would stop going driving to the hole. That's what you feel? Yes, 100% I would feel that way. Bro, we talking about LeBron. I don't care. LeBron, I, that's when I say. This that, is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Who in the NBA stops LeBron from driving? Not LeBron? now. Okay, so you feel like. If Lambert threw him around, they're going to stop him from driving to the Of course. Ball? No, not that they're going to stop. They'll stop him. I'm saying that LeBron would be I'm, hesitant. there would be attempts. You got Matumbo. You had Shaq I'm at gonna, the time. I'm going to give you, you, had, I'm gonna give you a perfect uh, scenario, Mr. Nick. I'm going to give you a perfect scenario, Mr. Nick fan. New York Knicks, don't, right? Don't fucking do it. Watch. New York Knicks at one point had one of the nastiest no, they did. Yes, they did. No, they did. Okay, no, and, and let me finish. The New York Knicks at one point had one of the nasty. I know where he's going. The, with nas- this shit. the nastiest, evilest front lines 
Even though you have Patrick Ewing in the middle. The, Patrick Ewing is not a fucking factor. Yes, but he was in this. We had Mark Jackson. No, no. Front line. Front line. I'm going to tell you the front line. Charles Oakley, mm -hmm. Patrick Ewing, mm -hmm. Anthony Mason. You came down the middle. On the New York Knicks. So you're getting hurt in New York. You're getting smashed. what that mean? That means if LeBron played in that era. So let me ask you this question. If Michael Jordan found a, found a way to get around it, shouldn't everybody else find a, find a way to get around it? Yeah, but most players in and this. they did. No. You're, what do no. you mean, no? Charles Barkley is talking. Reggie to, Miller found a way around. Reggie, listen, you're not understanding the question that Barkley was okay, saying. I'm aware. Barkley was saying the players now, you can't transport them into those two decades, and they would do the same things they're doing now. What? No, that's not true. Yes, it is. They're saying that these players now will not adjust. Most of them. Most of them. They won't. They won't. You're saying that they LeBron don't have the heart. won't adjust. You're saying that Le Stephen Curry won't adjust. Le You're saying Stephen that Curry would not drive. Would not adjust. Steph Stephen Curry would stay outside and shoot threes all day long. He would never drive to the lane because he knew he was going to get smashed. Michael Jordan adjusted. And let me tell you something. Though these are tough comments. Listen, Michael Jordan adjusted his game because he was getting pounded. Because he drove to the basket when he was younger. He adjusted and he developed his jump shot. And he became so much more dangerous when he developed his jump shot and then became a three-point threat. And then when he drove to the basket, he became better because you had to respect his shot. Dwayne Wade was the same thing. Dwayne Wade came out of, um, out of college driving to the basket. He put his body on the line. He came into the NBA and did the same thing. But as... Players got bigger and he got started getting smashed. He developed his outside game. He started, he developed the fadeaway. So guards will adjust to that. Big men in this era are fucking soft. They're soft. I think that's up They're to Patrick you. Ewing soft. Sorry, ladies. Sorry, ladies. We're talking sports. I know you It's don't Super like Bowl it. weekend it's and, Bowl you know, weekend. it's okay. So, all the fans. Being that you said Super Bowl That's weekend. why Barkley is a, Barkley is a perfect example of someone that played in that decade and that can speak about that. He was, he was, he was undersized for playing a power forward and still, there was one season where he almost averaged 20 20. My man, if you had him in fantasy basketball, he was dropping fucking mega points for you. I was too young to have fantasy. Yeah, yeah. There, there wasn't even really fantasy football, um, basketball back then at all. Okay. But he could speak on that. And that's why he says, because LeBron's constitution, as much, he looks like a tough guy because you see him chasing um, players from behind and making these amazing blocks and him driving to the basket because physically he's a phenomenal specimen. But... Understand that the era back then, everybody had a center. Everybody had an enforcer. Chicago had Rodman. I got to do an enforcer right now. Aye, what does that mean? Super facts? Oh, wow, 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 wow. I'll be back. Oh, you know you're not. Five seconds. Five seconds? Oh, shit. Number two, one or number two? Or number three? Oh, holy shit. Yo, he left me. But listen. Yeah, let's if we're gonna talk about the NBA, the players nowadays suck balls. Hundred percent suck balls. I'm sorry. I grew up in the eighties and nineties. Ladies watch sports too. Do you, Sasha? Actually I know you do because you are a sports um kind of junkie. You're a good you're a sports mom, that's for sure. Um but the players nowadays in the NBA would not last a full season. Um, playing in the 80s and 90s. It's just a different era. The, the rules are different. The, the players are different. The mindset was different. And only the, only the players that have the physical capabilities to survive a season, the way they played it back then, is are the players that are going to pretty much um, have some type of success. But Barkley is 100% correct in saying no. that the players now are soft. They are soft. They're Absolutely. not all soft. I'm not though. saying they're all soft, but there's only a handful of players that you could take now and put them back and put them back then, and they would be successful. LeBron is one of them that could be, but LeBron's mindset. I don't think LeBron's heart 
isn't isn't there. I've seen LeBron shade away from um, pressure shots, game winning shots. That's, Come that's on, where am I? For it. There are no fucking reasons. Come on, when Miami won that, when Miami won that title, it wasn't because of him. That was fucking Ray Allen. Yeah, Cause he got fucking ice that. in his fucking veins. I agree. It wasn't LeBron. I've seen LeBron, and I love. I, I I like watching LeBron, but LeBron, when it comes to crunch time, and you can't compare when LeBron comes to crunch time, he will make the right decision. The right decision for LeBron, and in this era, is to make the right choice. If it's to take the shot, make the pass, block the shot, he does it all. He can never be compared to Michael Jordan. No one can be, ever be compared to Michael Jordan. Either. Yes, you can't. They're comparing I'm gonna t- him, though. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Michael Jordan went to six world championships. He won all six. Michael Jordan will probably do two things that no other athlete will ever do in any of the major sports. He is undefeated in every championship game, and he never played a game seven. Never, ever played a game seven. He completely annihilated his opponent game six. He made sure there was never a game seven. Live what you say. We're not going to always go to the 80%, recognize the 20%. (laughs) Michael Jordan never (laughs) lost. I get it. He never lost a championship game, and he never went to a game seven. But no one. That's what he said. Never, what he said. Never will there be. But he lost. No, he never lost. He lost in the playoffs. When he when did he lose? He, in the play- he went to the, he went to the chip six. He didn't lose in the playoffs. Yes, he did. That was later in his career when he went to go play baseball and golf. If you guys Google it, put it in the comments. Yeah, when was he lost in the playoffs? My man went and won three. He went. He lost in the playoffs. Okay. I'm not saying that's that. That's the 20%. He, he lost. Yeah, that's the 20%. That's when he was. He first started in the league. It took him six years to win a ring, if I'm correct. Six years to by, win a ring. By no means am I taking away from him. But he, his two feet, his two feet will probably never be duplicated. He went to six ch- world championships. Six world championships. He only went to six. He won all six. He never played a sudden death game seven in the championship game. He made sure game six was the last game his opponent played. Oh, yeah. That's no that's player not. in football. Now he talked his shit. Hobby. He talked his shit. Oh, baseball, none. That will shit. never be duplicated. Shit. That's why you can never, ever, ever compare any player. Because when it came to having the ball, if you wanted, I'm going to give you this question, and this question has been posed to many people before. If you had a choice in the basketball world, five seconds left in the game. Michael Jordan. Absolutely. I'm giving him the ball. Absolutely. Are, you there, is no, there is no one in the NBA history that you're going to give the ball at the end of the game to win and if it's, not, if it's not Michael Jordan, depending on the points, I'm giving it to Steph Curry. No. What do you mean, no? No. My choice is Kobe. At the end I'm of the game. I'm talking about if you if you down and you got to win the game. Last shot to win the game, Kobe. Nah. If I don't have magic, I have Kobe. I'm not saying that Kobe's not one of the, the greatest. Problem, the problem, what I'm saying is, is that the problem depending is, on the situation... Curry will fucking give it to you from anywhere. I understand that, but if you watch, if this is what I'm saying, most of the time when you have a game winning shot, it's an isolation shot, right? It's one on one. Now, now it isn't. Curry, Curry gets a lot of his game from a pick and roll. What are we talking about now? Right, but if you have the ball, last shot of the game. One on one, and most of the time it's one on one. It's never one on one. It was. It's not anymore. It doesn't matter. Even it back does. in the days, yes, it we was. called it one on one. We called it one on one, but there was a pick and roll. Mm-mm. There was a double. Mm-mm. What do you mean? Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. Let's. We, we gotta go to YouTube, and we're gonna look at the clips of game winning shots, 
and we're going to show. I'm not saying that the game winning shot. That's but that's my question. Game winning shot but with it all depends the, on your supportive team. No, it doesn't depend. No, yes, I'm, it does. I'm, you, I, I pose you the question. You gotta clear I, that person. No, I, from you. no, you clear it out. Like you clear it out. That's it. You give you give Seth Curry the ball and you clear him out one on one. Guess what he's gonna do? He's gonna shoot a three. He's gonna shoot an outside but shot. You give it to Kyrie. What are you gonna do? Kyrie's another. But Kyrie is a hit or miss in that. If no, but I'm talking about one on one. This is a scenario, bro. This you're is down a, one. This is a no. You're I'm down no. one. Game with get, the marble. Everything's on the line right there. Game winning shot wins you the chip. Who do you have? It depends. It doesn't depend. Who do you it want the ball with? It depends. You, I didn't even finish the question. And you said Michael Jordan. It didn't depend on oh, who was playing. It didn't matter. It didn't you know matter. Why? So you it doesn't why? matter. It, it doesn't it, matter. It, it, it does matter. So but that's why you can't compare him to anybody in the listen, first place. Michael Jordan to me is the greatest. It doesn't matter if you're down one or two and you got to win the game. You give it to Michael Jordan. Here's what I'm saying. If you're down two, you give it to Curry. If you're down one, I give it to Kyrie. You know why? Because they have different skill set. But but you'll give it to Michael Jordan for the game winning shot for everything. everything. But that's what makes you great. That doesn't make these yeah, players great. I agree with you on that. But that's you, why I said I was I would, being specific. Right? With the yeah, no. It's a general question. Game six, not even game seven. Game game. Let's go. Game seven. You got the ball. Shot wins you the chip. By 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 no means of the imagination, number one overall ever, Michael Jordan. I'll number two, Kobe. I tell you Kobe what. needs no help from anything. He won't need a pick and roll. He won't need he won't need help from any of his players. You mentioned Kyrie. And Kyrie Kobe needed help. Now we bro, have you seen some of his game winning shots? Hell yeah. And he did it with what? I, okay, I'm not saying that he, <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying, saying he didn't do it one on one. Of course he but did. But he had to get help to get the one on one. No, he did not. You gave him the ball. Listen, bro, how many times have you seen Kobe take it, dribble it up, take the shot? Same thing Michael will get it. Inbounds, Michael, he takes it. Looks at the clock. Boom. Gone. Oh, Kobe. Wait. Who did go? Who did Kobe base his game on? Michael, but we're, we're okay. not talking. We're not debating that. Okay. We're talking about best of all time, Michael. Now we're talking about if you want, if you have the last shot, you're telling me right now that you would take Seth Curry. In today's game. No, 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 not to talk about. We're not talking about today's game. We gotta talk about basketball that. is fucking basketball. No, it's not. No, oh. it's not. If that was the case, we wouldn't be I having mean, a conversation that's it. That's of LeBron it. Or, or Michael Jordan no. being the best. Basketball is not basketball Yes, anymore. it is. It's not. Bas- because basketball in Michael Jordan days is not basketball in today's game. And it's a shame. It's a fucking I shame. I don't, I don't disagree with you. I, it's a but fucking shame. But you pose a question, but you if you be specific. If, if you got a game-winning shot, who do you want with the ball? Game-winning shot. Who do you want with the ball that's going to make that shot to win the game? All I know is if you ask Mia, she'll say me. <laughs> ben has the ball. Ben has the ball. And dude, you and me have played on three on three tournaments. We've been to Nike tournaments. We played ball before. We understand the game. Like, no doubt, Michael is. I'm giving it to Mike. Mike. I'm giving it to but Mike. But Seth Curry isn't a one on one player. He isn't. But that's what I'm coach, saying. As a coach, I'm gonna help him. So if you have Michael Kobe, Jordan, I didn't so have if you help. have wait, if you have Kobe and Steph Curry on the same team, you're gonna allow. You're not gonna have Kobe shoot the last shot. No, I'm fucking give it to Kobe. That, that, I give it to there Kobe. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's no, it. No, no, I'm that's not saying that's I'm it. not gonna give it to Kobe. Shit. But, so it don't matter what who's playing. But at, I gotta still create for Kobe. No, you don't. That's the shit. Kobe created his own shot. Michael created his own shot. Seth Curry does not. Not all the time. Ky- Kyrie creates his shot more than anything. Look, look what Sasha Where's said. It? Oh, hey! Thank you, Sasha! Iverson! I'm the, let me what, tell you okay, so Iverson, you're saying, is one, Iverson is one of the greatest players okay, that never, okay. that never so won a trade. So you're saying that Iverson is going to get it and Kyrie ain't going to get it? No, you... Who I, are some of the best handlers in the game? Iverson by five. Iverson number one. Iverson. Kyrie and then Curry. Right. But you just said you would give Curry. No, I, I take Curry over Kobe. Hell no. Bro, 
Think about what you can do with those three. It, it, you're not putting them all through. You got to give the ball out to I'm one. I'm talking of. about team effort. I'm talking about team effort with those three. There's no team with Michael, effort. The scenario- with Michael, you don't need team. With Kobe, you need team effort. The, the, with LeBron, you need team the effort. The question was. With Michael, you give it to him at the top, asking, and he's going to fucking. He's going to give you the crossover and push him off and hit him with the. You're not answering the question. Game. Coach. Face no game winning shot. Who do you want the ball in? And who do you want the game winning shot? Game winning for shot. everything. The championship. Who do you want? Michael. All time. All time. Michael. I need Michael. Okay. Who would I, be? If, no it's, if, it's there, if, if it's not Michael, who? I need Michael. If if you don't have Michael, who would be number two? I need Michael to come out of his grave. I need Michael. I understand that. Michael's one. Who two? You said Seth Curry, and I'm, I completely disagree. I need Michael that. to come out of his grave because I need Michael. <laughs> take accountability and just take it back, Seth you know Curry. Why? You know why I say that? Because even if Michael misses, Michael didn't miss. Okay. <laughs> but if he missed. And I'm not a Michael Jordan fan. I understand that. I'm a basketball fan. I know that. Fan. I know that. I'm not a I'm Michael fan. I'm basketball. I'm, I'm, my favorite player I'm is Magic. I'm all basketball. My, my, my but, favorite player is my, Magic Johnson. But I feel like if, if, I coach, if I coach Michael Jordan and he missed that game-winning shot, I would feel more like it was my fault than his. Only because I felt like I don't have to put Michael Jordan in the best position where I have to put Curry, LeBron. You don't have to run a play for that. Right, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But you don't have to. You never had to run a play for Kobe either. Kobe showed it. I don't think Please he showed that. Plenty of times, bro. Plenty yeah. of times. I gotta see it. You have to I see love it. Kobe. You got. You gotta go back, bro. But I, I need to see the story as much as I. Was. You know why? Because I, I. I came up when Kobe came up. And then Sasha's a perfect example. Allen Iverson is probably one of the best players that never won a chip. But he revolutionized. No, the, I disagree. What? He revolutionized the, the game. He revolutionized the point guard. I don't call. Yeah, but he's not the best that never I won never a chip. I never said. I never. What did you say? I said the best point guard that never won a chip. He's not. Who's the best guard that didn't win a chip? He's not the who's, best. Okay, so then you, if you're saying that, who's the best Who's the best guard that never won a chip? Think about it. Let's put the Jeopardy music on. Gary Payton. God. Gary Payton did win a chip. Yeah, he damn sure did. The yeah, the Supersonics. Was I was there when he won. With Kemp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know my history, that was, kid. That's why I, I can't do it. But the point is, is that there's one thing. Even with my bad memory... I'm still giving it to Michael Jordan. That's not a debate. It is a debate. No, the, the whole it's a debate. We started the whole. That's how you see fucking on, on Facebook. All the the cop. You can't you can't compare Michael how to anybody. How is LeBron James not better? First than of all, Michael yes, Jordan. it's not. What are you talking about? But LeBron James by far was has will probably go down as the best basketball athlete to ever play the game. Kyrie does have this. Uh, he does have a sick. Oh, game. he does. But where does he get I, it from? I, I, but I won't give it to Kyrie. I wouldn't. Right now, no, I in, would. Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, I would not give it to Kyrie in the beginning of a. Like, if it was down one, I wouldn't give it but to when, Kyrie. But you're talking scenarios. It's plain and simple. Game seven, game winning shot. Who do you give the ball? You're talking scenario. It's, okay. It's, 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 it's the greatest scenario. It's what every NBA player That's what you practice dreams. for. Exactly. As a kid. Game winning shot for everything. That's what you practice for. That's what you put your blood, sweat, and treat. As a coach. As a coach. I'm you it to Michael. Of course. Okay. We already got That's the consensus. I'm Michael. Not changing that. Okay. So who would you pick if Michael didn't exist? Who's your next pick? Barkley's saying that he wouldn't give the he wouldn't give the ball to LeBron if he was two feet under the basket with the game on the line, pretty much. No, 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 no. <laughs> he know that he ain't that dumb. No, but he's dumb. But he ain't that dumb. shot for everything. You don't have Michael. Who's your, who are you giving it to? I say Kobe. You're gonna be surprised about what I say. I'm gonna have to take a shot. Kobe's not here. Mike's not here. I give it to KD. No. No. What? I mean, I'm going to tell you somebody who would I give the ball to better than... Don't say fucking Russell. Nope. Larry Bird. No. What? We're talking about now. No. Oh, na- no. Wait, 
like, how can we talk about now when we're mentioning Michael and Kobe? Nah, 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 nah. If you're talking about all right, in all I time, all time, we're pass. talking. About, that's the whole question. You gotta, like, you gotta surpass Magic, Larry, a lot of people. Lot no, of game people. winning shots. Game winning in, shots. In on my time, and my because that's not your time. Let's, you're before my time. Let's. My talk. time, you had Michael, Magic, Larry. You had Adam Iverson came at the. At the end you of the You got it wrong, though. It's Magic Bird. Magic and Bird are together. They're the eighties. No, you said Michael, Magic, Bird. No, I'm saying... In, oh, for in, you. Yeah. I wouldn't put Magic in, uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the last game-winning shot before Bird or no, Kobe. No, 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 no. I, I thought your question was who we giving the, who we my the question, ball in my the question, hand. My question, my question. All time. All, all time. NBA, all time. And Boricua Poppy's in the house. All time game winning shot for everything in history. Michael Jordan is number one. Number one. Number one. There's no discussion. To me, Kobe is number two all time. Okay. Who would be your number three? Fuck you, mean who would be? First of all, I don't even have a number two. Okay, That's so, your number two. So who's Curry's your number two? You said two. Curry, and I just wanted to smack you. No, not Curry as number. I I thought you were talking about in a scenario. No, no, no scenario. I, I listen. I'm speaking English, bro. No. Game winning shot Michael, for the championship. All time, all, all time, time, all time. Michael, I'm giving it to Michael. That. All day. Okay, okay. You number give two. It to Kobe. I'll give it go. Give it to Kobe. Number two. All time. All time. Forget about scenarios. Running plays. Ball in hand. For all the marbles. All time NBA. Every NBA player has ever played. Damn, I'm Talk to, to me. I might have to give it to Kobe. You might have to do some research. That's I why have, I said. I might have to give it to Kobe. I I got Michael as one. I got Kobe as two. So I got Larry Bird as When you three. think about it, I agree with you, right? When you think about it, so why is LeBron in that conversation with MJ and not Kobe? Because this is... The, because, well, first of all, Kobe's not here, right? What the hell they got to do with Visiting that being the conversation not, not the greatest? Because Kobe and Magic are very similar. And Kobe did admit that he he, he modeled his game from, um, from he Magic. He modeled his game from Magic. From, from, no, from Michael, Jordan. Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan, yes. That, does, They're very that does not make him the greatest. No, it doesn't make him the greatest, but Kobe's not the greatest. But he is definitely in the top three. But LeBron, the king... um. As he self proclaimed, self proclaimed, um, he is the face of the NBA. He's been the face of the NBA for the last decade, right? So obviously, you're going to compare the face of the NBA of this decade with the faces of the NBA in previous decades, and and obviously, Michael Jordan is the face of the NBA all time. So he is the benchmark. And again, I always find it unfair to compare anybody to Michael Jordan for the simple fact. Like I stated before, he accomplished two things that I don't think in any sport will ever be done. He never played a game seven. He made sure of he never played a game seven. Like, he personally made sure that he never played a game you seven. You can't take that away from him. Like, that's, and, a, that's an accomplishment. And he took the fucking... That's an accomplishment. He took the last fucking shot. He game winning shot to game six. He went undefeated in six chips. Six. Brady didn't do that. Gretzky didn't do that. Uh, Jeter didn't do that. Hey, man, didn't do that. Uh, pay, well, I say Brady because Brady went to multiple. Yeah, sports, but you gotta get. I mean, you know, talking, you know, yeah. But it's 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 the, the greatest in different sports have lost mm-hmm. in the biggest event in the biggest moment of their lives. Michael Jordan is six and zero oh in the biggest moment in NBA history. Simple, and that's what. That's what Brock Barkley is referring to. He is refer- he is referring to the players nowadays are enabled in regards to because the NBA wants a faster paced game okay. to, to be more creative. I don't disagree with and Barkley. And be more excited. I don't and agree all with that. Barkley, but Barkley I feel like is a little aggressive in his commentating, and he's a little brutal. 
He is, but that's fine. I, I love that about him. But I, I don't want him to be perfect either. Like that's the whole part. But of I'm the I'm a hundred percent in agreement with him that 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 LeBron would have success in the the previous in the eighties and nineties. Yes, because of his physicality, not because of his game. I think he would flirt. He would be more successful now because he developed an outside game. But if he came out of high school in that era, oh hell no, he wouldn't survive. He wouldn't have survived. No way. Okay, so we covered everything. We you sure know, did. You know what we didn't cover? The Super Bowl? Yes. We did, we did, but... A little bit. Understand, we're from New York, and if the Giants aren't playing in the Super Bowl, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> we truly don't. <laughs> we don't. We truly don't. We don't. I, I, got, I got a shirt. We're going to play fucking some... From, uh, I'm voting for the chili. Right there, yeah, we're gonna play the chili. You know how many, listen, but, how, many, how many times have we gotten drunk playing this game? I know, I know, you know, I know. For you guys that don't know this game, I'm, I'm I got a brain fart right now, but it's called um, what the fuck is this game called again? That game right there. Yeah, that game with the cups. Beer and pong. Beer pong. We used to play that religiously at bar none. All right, before we go. Mm. I need everybody to tell me what they picks are for the for the uh, Super Bowl. Rams and Bengals. You got thirty seconds. Show me. Don't get Rams I, and Bengals. I don't care. Uh, uh, I don't want to hear the technicality. Big face is voting for the cheerleaders. It doesn't matter to me. I, the cheerleaders are the winners, regardless. Also, if if the, if um, these guys are going to be doing the halftime show, is Snoop Dogg performing tomorrow? Yes. Wow! Where all the allegations wow. and everything, he's gonna be Bro, there. There's enough time. Do you time. know, do you know time. that Dre oh. had? Do you know that Dre had to convince Snoop and Eminem not to show their private parts in that show? What show? Halftime show. They were gonna show their private parts. Yes. What kind of bullshit is that? There was, it was a point to it. Oh. Oh, like a parody type of thing. Yeah. The whole Janet Jackson, yeah. Justin Timberlake thing. Yeah. I don't want to see white balls. I don't want to see balls. Period. Why do you address white balls? Because Eminem. Okay. I don't want to see black balls either. Yes, Sasha. It's not Eminem. You want to see Spanish balls? It's, I don't want to see any balls. That's oh, why I'm okay. like, yeah, It's Modelo time. It's Modelo time. And it's 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 um it's Grogu time too soon. It's Grogu, 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 Grogu. We did we did not forget Reggie Miller. I brought him up yes, earlier. Yes, Miller. T- oh, that's what she meant. I thought she was talking about beer. And I was gonna. I was going. We did not. I brought him up. I w- did you? Yeah. I Lies. Did. We're gonna review it because yeah, I review it. I brought Reggie Miller Reggie up. Miller. But Reggie Miller. He did win a chip though. He he won. He a did chip. a chip. That's why I said Allen he Iverson. He won a chip when my team was at its peak. It's not saying but, when all teams were but at Miller, their peak. But Miller, Miller, Miller just had it for New York, bro. He, he had was, a, he was a New York killer. He assassinated. Yo, when you can score 12 points in less than 30 seconds, it's, it's, it's an accomplishment. That's a record that's never been changed. And understand that when I see Seth Curry play, you I think see Reggie Miller. You I think you do no, it? No, no. When I see Seth Curry play, I see Reggie Miller. I think I think I, Steph I Curry can change that. I I don't I don't see Miller never had the the, the handle that Seth Curry does. I I watched Seth Curry since college. This is what I'm saying. Like the team, yeah. Help, but Miller, the team helped Miller. Like there was oh they did they pick and rolls, but yeah. You can be you can have three. You can be on Miller's back. Right, Sasha. Hit. He's racist on balls. Sasha, you're not racist I, on balls, right, Sasha? I hope. Tell not. the truth, Sasha. Sasha's you're not, not racist, racist on balls. Ig ig. What kind of balls do you have? Or do you I don't want to know what kind of balls <laughs> IG has. Rams or Bengals? Rams or Bengals? And honestly, I can care less. I don't want to know if your balls are bangling or okay. ramming. Wait, but didn't you? We gotta. You gotta go to the. We gotta get replay your TikTok. I'm gonna do your TikTok because there's no chicken. What is it that you said? There's no. There's not gonna be no chicken wings. That's not my TikTok. They're gonna be no. But we're gonna repost that on Aces Up TikTok. We're gonna do that. It's tomorrow. happening. It's happening. The only thing that's gonna there's be valuable. Problem with, there's problem with all the meats. Pause. There's problem with all the meats. meats. Like, no we have problem wings. with no chicken wings. The beef. You got the, the 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 chopped meat. You gotta take it back because there's all this other stuff. And all this other stuff. I'm yeah. like. Oh, did me? Oh, we gonna what, should we do it? Yeah, bad. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Um, yeah. You're no, with us. You're with us on uh, 
Ace is up podcast. We're live. How can Thank we help you? you? How can we help you? Who's this? Oh, wow. That's crazy. Um, me and daughter. Um, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my daughter. Just me and daughter. Me and daughter. Gotcha. I just, I just wanted to ask if you guys have any advice for me and my daughter. This girl's always hungry. I don't know what she does I don't know. all day. Because she so plays basketball all day. Sorry for you. I got it from you. But it's my daughter. I got it from you. Asking, what are we eating? I got it from you. I got it from you. Okay, can you call your mother and ask her? Oh, that would have been great. Yeah. Yes. There you okay. go. There you go. Holy awesome. holy. There we go. All right, bye. If mommy answers, okay, bye. Bye. So, wait, Sasha says I love all balls equally. Okay, at least you don't discriminate. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Even the ones that hang yeah, lower than the other you. one. So we got one person that does not discrim- discriminate against balls. Got you. All right. Footballs, black balls, all type of balls. As long as they shave. Bengals and Rams, I don't care. I don't give a shit. My team isn't in it. The Giants suck, but you know what? I'm still, we're still rooting for them. I think we, that's the consensus. We, we rooted for them throughout the season. Even though they were trash. And we got aneurysms because they their coaching staff suck balls and all that. But everyone out there, enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday. Yes. Break your diets. Just like this, we got cupcakes, M and M's, potato I chips, mean, drinks, all that type, all that good stuff. Hope you have a great Sunday. We're gonna have a great Sunday. Hopefully, you do it safe always. Holy moly. They're delicious, aren't they? Look at that. We will see you next week when everything goes back to normal. No freaking sports, no nothing. We'll see you on Sunday. As always, we leave you. You got to love, you got to laugh, and you got to live. Bless you all. See you next time. And deuces. Deuces. Aces up here. Super Bowl edition. We got you. We got you every week. And love y'all. Much love and happiness. Much love and happiness. Much love and happiness. And we are done. IG, we love you. YouTube, we love you.